our stuff. Nobody knows what Hulu Plus Live TV is. Yeah, it comes with over 75 live channels with sports like NFL games, plus Hulu's entire streaming library. Plus Disney Plus, plus ESPN Plus. What if we change the name? Give me something. No bad ideas. Let's go. Super Hulu. Bad idea. Hulu Gold. Test, test, mic test. T-Basque, we'll be back up here momentarily to hopefully answer any questions you guys have. We're just getting a couple of final things set up. Thank you for tuning in early. The teams that are playing today are listed on the screen in front of you. Hune is playing today. He is playing under the team FAT, Free Agent Turtles. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, guys. I'm going to go grab a water, and I will be back in just a couple of minutes, and we'll start chatting.
Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing today? We are going to get the lobby opened in about 10 minutes and hopefully get the very first game for you started by 7.05. Any predictions? What teams do you think are going to take first place? You know what? I want to talk to you guys. I need to see you guys. I can't wait. Hello, hello. I might be a little bit impatient. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Oversight Hyperlux Circuit Week 1. Very first week. As you know, on Monday, we had a qualifier. 20 amazing teams competed. The top 10 from Monday are going to be competing today all over again. I recognize a lot of names in chat. It is so weird to not see the sub badges or mod badges in front of the names. Thank you, those of you from our community that came over to support and watch the stream. We're really excited. We're going to get into a good habit of doing this, though. Every Thursday, we're going to be live here on the Hyperlux channel. Every Monday, we're going to be live on our channel doing the qualifiers. We're going to get into a good rhythm and give these pros an awesome series that they really, really desperately need. They need some good practice. All right, if you want to take a look at the teams again that are going to be competing, these are the 20 teams. Andrew should be here in just a moment. Come on, who are you rooting for? Who is taking home the dub tonight? I do also want to say thank you so very much to Hyperlux for sponsoring this event. The Peach, that is one of the team's logos. That is Team ASS, Team Ass. They qualified on Monday. They played really, really well. Hi, Pink. How are you? Pink, while you're here, should I censor myself with that name or are we calling them by their name? You let me know. If you want me to call them ASS, I certainly will. If you want me to call them by their name, I will do that too. They quickly became a... Fan favorite. Call it like it is. Okay. All right. Team Ass it is. It is what it is. Okay. Just want to make sure. We want to keep it as professional as possible. But that's their name. That is indeed their name. Oh, thank you. I know I heard that they went under. That's that's why I'm asking you if what would you like me to call them? So we do have permission to call them team ass, Andrew. Oh. You might be muted, but welcome. I am so excited to get this going. Good day, friends. Good day. Hello, hello. Mm, let me refresh the chat. I did try that. It is still linked. No, it did not. It is linked to our Twitch. That's fine. You just won't have it. It's okay. I'll let you know if you need to see anything. Thank you. Thank you, Spurlock.
And thank you. I do recognize a lot of names from the community. Hopefully some new people. Guys, make sure you drop a follow on this page, though. We're going to be live every Thursday from Hyperlux GG to go over these $5,000 weekly events. Again, what you're about to watch right now is the Oversight Hyperlux oh. Circuit. On Mondays, we will be live with qualifiers on our His and Hers live channel. On Thursdays, we will be live here on Hyperlux GG channel where the players actually compete for some real cash money. $5,000 on the line every single week. And at the end of six weeks, there's going to be a $20,000 playoff. Huge. It's huge indeed. I'll get into the details of how the circuit works. It's actually a brilliant setup. I'm really excited. I have a graph for you um, that I like will explain. Graphs. You do like graphs? Well, maybe you yeah. explain it then. Maybe you can explain it. I don't like them that much. Okay, okay. I like watching people explain graphs. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and go into it then. So, again, here's a look at the teams. And can you get the graph graphic for me, please? And I will go into details on, as you see here, this was announced on Twitter a couple days ago. Make sure you are following Chrono on Twitter, Minus Tempo on Twitter, Oversight on Twitter, and even us on Twitter. We will all try to share as much details and information so your Twitter feed is flooded with when, where, and how to watch all of these amazing events. As you can see, Mondays and Thursdays, mark your calendar, 7 p.m. Eastern every Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern every Thursday. We already had the Monday event. The top 10 from today's Monday, if you look over at the top, are carrying over to our Thursday event. And there were already 10 amazing teams that were invited. So the 10 invited teams and the 10 that qualified from Monday are going to be the 20 teams that are competing today. You can see an idea of the prize pool there. First place. I believe that says 2,300 to first place, 1,500 to second place, 900 to third place, 300 to fourth. The bottom 10 from today will have a chance to qualify again on Monday, as well as the teams that, re that did end up getting 11th through 15th place. Top 10 will immediately qualify again for next week next Thursday. The deal with the registration is actually amazing too. As you can see in the fine print below, there are five open registration spots. Now that's just not for anyone. I do apologize, but these are the best of the best pro teams that are going to be competing. So make sure you see the fine print down below, but there is open registration to those who have either one player from the top 20 or two players from the bottom 20 of the ALGS last chance qualifiers too. If your team meets those requirements, there's a link of the Discord you can go to and follow the instructions in the Oversight Sign Up channel. This is going to give new teams, hopefully, an opportunity to play and show that they can hang with the best of the best. Red Veins, did you have a team? I can go ahead and sign you guys up. Uh, Red Veins, Sword Link, and K in the chat. I think you guys would, would do very well. Like I love, like I love all three of you guys. I feel like. Thank you, Mars. Thank you. And you can go ahead and put our stinger on. We have an awesome transition stinger here. I believe Chrono made this. Chrono helped out with a lot of the graphics. Chrono, thank you so so much. Minus Tempo, oh. you know their names, guys. Minus Tempo helped organize this event. It is a pleasure mm. to work with them. We've been working with them for over a year, running Apex events. We are close to game one. I hope everybody's I'm, getting their. Popcorn. I'm nervous. There, get m multiple drinks ready. You're not gonna, you're not gonna want to leave your seat. Call in some food. Get some food cooking. Throw some stuff in the oven. Speaking of oven, the um, air fryer has been really good for for us recently. Air fryer, I didn't think it would be that great, but it turns out it it can do stuff pretty good. It really has been a welcome addition to our kitchen setup. Air fry, like we did some sweet potato fries yesterday, and it really tastes like they were fried in in deep fried oil. It's, I don't know, I don't know how it does it. I still don't quite understand. I I, I feel like it's like just an oven, but an oven that sits on the counter and does a better job. I'm Yo, going Mackie to Mars, what's up? What's up? I'm going to connect from Iowa. Also, I know Tempo is starting the server up, but I'm just going to make sure I'm connected. Sounds great. To Iowa, just to be safe. Servers should be open. Go you have ahead to and pay, pay you to be a freak. Okay. Yeah, okay. We can, um, you know, we could probably find, do, 
You guys are such great personalities that we might be able to get you guys. Send me a DM. A1. Said the code under my breath, so. um. Yeah, I like Andrew saying the code out loud. Anyone else want to be admin in this lobby with us? Open to everyone. Hop in. I think it's more than two letters. I'm going to need everyone to get together, please. And Berkey, how you doing? Say a little apex prayer that the servers are smooth and that no one disconnects. If we could. Mm. Another quick question. Popcorn, is that is that air fryable? I don't think there's any reason to. Popcorn in the air fryer? It, somebody said popcorn, and it seems like air fryer would be the do popcorn, but I'm not sure. I mean, I've, things that do well in the air fryer are things that you typically deep fry, and I just don't know about deep fried popcorn. I don't know. I just I was waiting for you to go live, and then didn't, and I remembered you'd be here. Yes, 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 we are here. We are live here. Probably should do a tweet. Okay. You me too? You do it. You do it, and I will chat. All right, guys, the lobby's filling up. We are just waiting on a couple more teams. What other albums we have here? You want me to do the tweet or do you have it? Got it. Be Christmassy. We wanted to make sure we play copyright music for you guys. We don't want any any copyright issues. Well, so that'd be non-copyright. Exactly. What he said. Okay, waiting for a player from SSG, Team Liquid, Furia, Team Ass, and we will go ahead and get this game one started. I'm so excited to see the competition. It has been a minute since we've had a $5,000 event. This is just one of many every Thursday. Mark your calendar, 7 p.m. every Thursday. We want to get this game one started here in just a couple minutes. Put it back on the team screen. I feel like I don't see many streamers look as genuinely happy to be doing what they're doing like his and hers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thank you. Again, guys, if you're just tuning in, these are the teams that are competing today. We're going to get the party started in just a minute with game one. F-A-T stands for free agent turtles, right? Free agent turtles, is that correct? All right, sweet. Thank you, Hyperlux, for sponsoring this event. Also want to say thank you, Hyperlux, for this, this entire series. This is probably one of the largest series for Apex, second to ALGS. So might need a fact check on that, but... Largest that I know of. So thank you guys. You're making some big waves here in the Apex scene. We appreciate you. I'm pulling up the the lineups here. It looks like everyone is in the lobby and ready to roll. Do we have any contested spots that we know about? What do you think? Um, 
you know what? We're going to just have to wait and see. I'm looking at the teams. I don't know if any of these teams land on each other or not. We'll be keeping a very close eye on the drop. We are super close to starting the game. Sentinels and TSM. Okay. Looks like we're just missing one player from Nightmare, and we will go ahead and get started. Furia and G2. They were both landing in Thermal. I'm not sure if they both are still going to be doing that, so we mm. shall see. Are they still are they still hashing that out? I guess last last tournament I heard they were hashing that out. I think G G2 Furia won the first battle and then um the first tournament they landed on each other and then G2 won the second tournament they landed on each other. So maybe they're going to do it again. So oh, very very soon. We should have quite a few teams in Discord audio. Hopefully, that means we're going to do live listen-ins. Live listen-ins for some of these players. And there's no telling where we'll land. Furia, if there's one team in the lobby that is always fun to watch, it is Team Furia. They do tend to give us lots of surprises. Whether it's a crazy sneak attack, a 50-50 drop, they're always a fun team to watch. Furia put life back into Apex, well said. All right, it looks like Demi did just join the lobby, so we can go ahead and get started. All right, 30 second warning coming in. Oh, I am nervous. Put us back on our desks really quickly before we go back there, but we're about to get game one started right here. The lobby is full. Ooh. Would love <clears throat> to see some predictions of who you think is going to take home game one. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. We're His and Hers Live. My name is Judy, or you can call me Juka. This is Andrew. We're going to be hosting these events every Thursday here from Hyperlux, so make sure you drop a follow. Mm, let me just double check with everybody. All right, cool. Good luck, players. Game one is starting right now. It's going to be spicy. Always nervous for the guys on the drops. You know, will you land on a gun? Will you land on armor? Are you going to punch people out? G2 and Furia, I like both teams a lot, so I hate to see one of them out early. Hey, okay, here we are. Game one. Get that transition turned off. Let's hope that everyone loads into the lobby. Yo, what's up, PvP? Yikes, man. I'll be I'll be keeping a really close eye on the other POIs as well, make sure there's no um no contest. We'll be getting you every single fight. Scouring the map. I love at e all the rotates. First thing that I'm noticing here, ESA's comp. Do love to see they typically will run a Loba. Not too many Lobas in the lobby. I do see another one here. Double O also running Loba for team casuals. And just like that, game one. Here we go. First Starting week. Starting right now. We'll take a look at the map and make sure we do not miss any contested drops. I wonder if I wonder if the players are as nervous as the casters sometimes, you know? Like do they even care? Like are they just chilling? Do they get nervous? Nice Wicks Fathers over here, so that's very positive. That's reassuring for the whole lobby. Couple teams in Skyhook. We have the typical one team going acclimatizer. 
These two, two teams, teams in the sky at probably countdown. Not try two teams at countdown. So you guys, Fury already did not mm. disappoint. We do have two teams at countdown. So Andrew will keep an eye on that. Uh, we have Furia at countdown as well as our newly formed team ass. There is a sub. It looks like Snipedown was playing last week or earlier this week. And it looks like Jen is subbing in um, for Snipe spot on that team. So those two teams are going to be fighting. Andrew will watch that fight. And I'm going to see if there's anything else happening soon. You guys had said Lava Siphon was going to possibly be a contested drop. It looks like TSM is alone at Lava Siphon. So no worries there, guys. All right, they are starting to move in here. Really good loot from Panders with the Volt and the R9. A really nice, uh, really nice pickup on the drop. Better than a Mozambique P20. All right, looks like Andrew's watching Team Furia. I'm gonna go ahead and show you really quickly a split screen. We're gonna show you this view throughout the tournament where we have a fair 50-50. Screen Pans down here is showing Team Mass. Screen over here is showing Missing. Team Furia. All right, that is one down. Avalili down. Team Ass up against it. Panders, yeah, that's two down. That is Team Ass gone. Okay. I think All that right. came down to Fury just having really superior armors and weapons. They they all have really like they, we had an E to eight, Flatty, Volt 3030, and a Volt R9, and they have double blues and a purple. So I'm just not sure they're that wasn't not that was not a very even fight. It really wasn't. All right, I'll take it back over here as we look at team complexity on the east side of Fragment, being slightly chased by Team E8, um, trying to find some scrap loots in this area. Oh, you can see we have 19 teams up. The only team that has been eliminated so far is Team Ass. Two teams in Fragment right now. Let's go this quadrant out here. You can see Complexity has actually already left Fragment as they're gonna try to get a spot in zone. You see that they already scanned Beacon and the zone is pulling a little bit further east. One thing that we noticed with the zone changes that were implemented at the beginning of this season is that a lot more teams are playing zone. Um, over the last season or two of Apex, someone somehow along the way decided that playing edge, hard edge, being in zone, healing, crafting a lot of heals was the way to play these games and craft and get a ton of heals and kills and big points. Uh, that trend has kind of died down a bit. We're seeing a lot more teams, if, if it's anything like Monday's qualifiers, that are playing positioning, playing zone. Get into zone early. I'm taking this screen here. Optic really wants to pick a fight at Geyser, but it does look like OXG is going to back off and head towards zone, so... We do I have a fight at Landslide. At Landslide, I'm going to quickly take it over as this one just developed extremely quickly. It does look like NRG getting a knock on his Watson. Two teams, two players up here. Yes, NRG is down. Yes, NRG on height with double blues. Going to try to hit a heal. You can see that they are fighting in their own seer ult here. Two providing two. constant wall hacks. They did get sweet up. Okay. Um, looks like one of them might have disconnected on Furia. Oh, no. I do see L um, Luminosity Gaming is also fighting at the moment, too. I have it on my screen if you want to take over that fight, too. Okay, yeah, I think... No, nah, it's it's no, it's nothing. It's just they caught one out. They're not really fighting. Okay. okay, good shots there as they clean that up. Team Furia does get eliminated, but don't worry, guys. They did get a couple of kill points before they ended up going down, but they are out. Energy and Furia tend to fight a lot. Um, we've noticed on... Yeah, one, one of, of our other events, they do... disconnected there, so that was pretty, oh, pretty odd. Oh, no. Okay, they're gonna loot up as they continue on, and you guys can notice that this zone right here, pulling so far east, I'm gonna go spectate ESA as they have a fight on bridge. Yeah, they're they're a little pinched here. I'm not sure what their plan's gonna be. They're go crashed. The oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. That is so unlucky. Okay, Crypto Old is in. This is gonna definitely take them for some damage here. Hitting all three of them there. Bronzy tried to drop his shield. You have to have that shield down for about 10 seconds in order to not take crypto damage from it. Not quite fast enough, but that's okay. They have a couple of cells to spare. During rotation, RNG did lose Luda. And I think they're going to try to circle back around and get the banner potentially. Okay. Checking out 100 Thieves here. 100 Thieves running a different comp. I believe last time they were running Newcastle 
and Watson. I know, I think they might still run that on Storm Point. We shall see. Scurry's making sure to keep his hand, his hands warm. Yeah, it doesn't look like RNG trying him. to get this banner over here. I'm just going to jump over here. LG is going to push the duo of RNG. They were going to try to circle back around and get the banner of Luda. And I think LG really wants to pursue this fight. There are three teams down here. They need to be really careful, though. If Renegades, um, Madness is kind of hanging behind. Madness is hanging behind here. Pow Pow is, oh, they're split. Oh, they're, they're super nice split. Nice shots from Yanya with the flatty. This is not good for Madness. That is... Oh! Yo, Yanya getting treated like... Yikes. Almost got the thirst. He was not quite able to get that thirst before going down. Pow Pow is going to try to rotate out, but look who is here for the 3P. I'm going to take over the screen here because it is none other than TSM FTX taking a peek at this fight. And I think that's L Luminosity right in front of them. TSM should have quite a bit more health. It's three teams here. I'm going to go into comms for TSM. Okay. Dead, dead, dead. Wait, it's three, bro. Evan, you just killed what? me completely, bro. Bro, I didn't realize you were one shot. Yeah, so we're out of those comms now. It does look like there were G2 came in and cleaned up the whole thing. There were quite a few teams there, you guys. But guys, look at this. Look at this. During that distraction, they have not grabbed Madness's banner yet, but this could be really good for Renegades. Where they were able to get Luda back up, and now I think maybe they'll try to circle to get Man. Uh, there's no way. They can't get that. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. that's going to be too far, but hey, Two players is better than one. Two players is better than one. G2, all three still up here in the zone. Going to try to heal up. Um, a little issue with the timing on that heal there. You know, these zones hit harder. These zones hit harder. These players have thousands of hours in the game. Six, seven, eight thousand plus hours. And this is the first time in a couple seasons that the zone damage one has been changed. So it's going to just take right, a little getting got, used to. We've got some bad action over here. Mercy jumping in. They were able to shoot Double O's team out of the sky and capitalize on that. They killed the Valkult, so that was a pretty fast fight there. Not really much to see. All right, what do we I have? will take it back. I'm on Team Free okay. Agent Turtles. I'm just going to call them Team Turtles here for now. Um, as you can see, I do have my walls on. I like to call it my walls. It's the player silhouettes of the enemy team, so you can see straight ahead there, there is a team... Just over to his left, there is another team. They are just surrounded. They're going to hang out here. Um, and there's really no reason for them to leave. There's really no reason for them to leave for a bit. RKN's going to try to get some intel, maybe even scan a beacon if there is one nearby. Um, it's just messing with the teams, opening the doors, doing what a crypto can do. But there are so many teams in this zone. I really like an overlook ending. I do think this is one that's going to pull a little bit further north. Um, we'll take a peek at some of the teams here. We have ESA also banking on the fact that it might pull a little bit further north. One of the few caustics in the lobby. One of the few caustics in the lobby. Yeah, just take a quick look at what's going on here. We have G2, RNG still on the edge here in... NRG also blast team to get into zone. And everybody else is kind of queued up. Like uh, Juka said, Overlook is looking like the end zone area. Everybody is. Do we have anybody who's scanned? We got Fury kind of in a little bit of a pinch here. Uh, they're in a build. Let's go check this out. No, that's ESA. Sorry. ESA in the building. This is actually a good, this is a good building to be in with Caustic. Look at these traps, man. There's a trap on every single level of possible. All right, so we're just going to have to wait and see what the zone's doing. That's what everyone's doing at this point. No one's really going to push a fight. Everybody is fully relaxed, cracking their fingers, taking a sip of water, waiting for the zone. You, may, This may look chaotic, but it's actually everyone's kind of just chilling right now. Yep, again, and I'm going to take over here and show you which teams are alive and which teams are eliminated. 
the current teams that are alive with the most kills. This is looking like a good game so far for Team NRG, though, as we go back and spectate. They're playing, they are playing edge. They're in zone, but they are playing edge. NRG, I don't know what they've been eating or drinking recently, but they have been playing so well. The last couple of tournaments that I've had the opportunity to cast over, I know they're coming off of a tournament win yesterday. They placed top in our event also. Yeah, the zone did pull north like you said it would. And so all of these teams down here, I'm going to show the map again. All the teams down in the south here are like, oops, we got to move. But look, these gatekeeps here. So this is where it gets weird, and you better hope you have a Valkyrie. All these teams probably do have a Valkyrie. So they're going to be all flying over top of each other, trying to get into zone. And it's going to be, it's going to start getting pretty sweaty here. We got a team flying in right now. Yes, Complexity. And Chrono or anyone from Hyperlux, if you want us to manually push ads during a certain time, or if Hyperlux wants to handle that, let us Ooh. know. Um, but we haven't touched anything with the ads. This is sketchy. Complexity flying in. All of the spots are taking, really using the shield well there with the Newcastle, but they are surrounded. They might just get grenaded out here. Grenades coming from everywhere. Thermites from everywhere. This is Team Sentinels that is right above them that is causing most of this chaos on Team Complexity. If they can hold out for another 10 seconds, they might be able to re Yeah, all the teams on the outside are fighting now as well. So really nice recovery here from Complexity. Ooh, still getting shot from the sides, of course, though. Um, yep, you see in the kill feed, that is what's happening right here. They're trying to survive. It's going to be tough. Everyone did blow their grenades, though, so there's not going to be a whole grenade storm like that anytime soon again. Okay, I really do like, I took over here where Sentinels are, but they did unfortunately lose Lou. He is down and thirsted. Um, probably, if they have a respawn, they can try to get him up. They should be able to drop it somewhere safe, but... Yeah, you got There's a... Um, NRG did just fight. Um, they did just fight, and they're, they got thirded by G2. Sweet did get away, though. Yeah, Sweet's going to get away and try to get Banner. Looks like G2 did pull up right after they finished a the fight that that fight was going on while we were looking at the uh, trailer fight so g2 here white a few partial teams right now though sweet is solo renegade solo sentinels down to two players yeah, back um, to you. c9 what one team that is not solo is going to be team c9 i right, keep a really close uh eye on these on these fights here they're going to be popping off I know. All We're going to try to show you as many fights as possible, guys, but they tend to uh, all happen at the same time. It's like Optic is going through a bit of a fight right now, too, if you yeah. want to get your hands on that one. They're, they're not fighting. They're just trying to rotate, and they're just getting shot. It's, an, it's not glamorous. They just got killed trying to run through. This lobby is extremely stacked. 13 could, squads up. You could say that these are the top 20 teams right now in Apex. Sweet is not going to be able to get the banner. Sweet's going to try to go rat. The draws me this way. So we'll, we'll try to keep an eye on the rat. Sweet's a very good rat. If there's one person to rat, it would be sweet. Okay, I do hear the crypto drone, and you know what that is. That is going to be Team Turtles. One of the few cryptos in the lobby just getting some zone information, some aerial views of where can they rotate for next zone. Rambo desperately trying to get his shield up to purple before they have to make a move. There we go. That's what he needed. That's what he wanted. All right. We've got the Rat of Sweet trying to run down to a trailer. It looks like everything is taken down here. He's going to throw some grenades. He's getting shot in the back. Also going to get Crypto Drone. Everyone is uh, really, really concerned about the Rat of Sweet, and Sweet is dead. That kill ended up going to Design. Design was the one who got the final kill shot right there. We do have a Kraber in play. We do have a Kraber in play. That is always fun to spectate. See if we can get a shot here. I got a fight for you. All right, take it over. Uh, RNG is fighting in a building. Pow Pow, last one up. Gonna get thirded. Team Fat coming in. They're gonna try to third party. There is a partial team in the building and they're getting shot in the back as well. So this is gonna be interesting. Rambo with the nice EVA shots. Gonna have to reload and goes down. Great Not clutch. looking good. There is a team very, very no, the team back. No, nope, they're fine. They're, they're fine. That is a good. That is great. Couple of kills for Team Turtles. All right, take me to the next one. All right, I am watching right now. Hundred Thieves is they're trying to get the res up on Anmu. 
has to avoid that or he's going to get knocked again. And it sure enough was a perfectly placed Valk attack right there. Let's try this again. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Anmu is going through it. He is on the slow side of the circle, but cannot really take much damage here. Only has a blue shield and a sliver of health, and his blue shield is now gone. As we just watch a very frustrating couple of seconds there from Anmu as he does get knocked for a third time in a matter of 10 seconds. I'm going to take us over to Team Fat. They just win, and they are trying to get stabilized underneath the building in the middle of the entire map. Rainbow goes down. They're getting ulted with caustics. There are teams all around. This is going to be chaos. It looks like they do stabilize. Let's look around and see what's going on. We got ESA trying to hold down the building. This is the building that they're underneath. And we have the three teams on the edge over here that are going to be chilling. So we got teams underneath. Yeah, here we go. I have some aerial views for you if you want to go back and forth to show. RKN trying to get a PK shot and almost going down for it. Going to hit the bat. Keon's going to cover. Yeah, RKN is down. So we have Keon going to try to solo it up. There is a, another team on the outside. This is good, though. This allows them to probably get that res off once he prioritizes his own health. And you know what? I spoke too soon. It looks like Designful is going to swing around underneath and grab that kill. There are still yeah. two teams right here on this little trailer. All right, we got, uh, we, it looks like these teams are fighting over here now. C9 up against OXG. It does look like they are a partial team, and it does look like Stay is the last one up. Yes, OXG just has ultimate, as we would call this height right here. You can see from the third person. All right, back and that is a Kraber G in play. We got G2 underneath ESA right here, and they all have to move off the building. ESA wants to get rid of G2 because G2 is going to be a huge issue for them when they try to move. Mastiff is going to be huge here. Lobo ult in-game is amazing. They're getting so much loot, so many grenades, so many batteries out of that thing right now. All right, I did not realize the Team Sentinels are still alive. They're into the same area, again, still as a two-man, and they're about to get swung on by OXG here. This could be the end of Sentinels. Let's see if they can clutch this up. Nice shot from Phonyhead. It does look like G2's on the outside and going to try to Valkyrie ult. Sentinels, like you said, is getting pushed over here on the side. They're going to get grenaded out. Sentinels fighting as a duo. They're also getting shot by Complexity on their other side, too. So this is not looking good for Sentinels. Yeah, but it is G2 on the top oh, here. Oh, ESA ended up pushing Complexity. This is good. Yeah. This is good for yeah. Sen. They're, they're stuck in the building here. Complexity's still holding down the trailer right here. ESA takes it. This is completely chaos. Five squads, only nine players up right here, and we're going to be down to four squads right there as ESA gets eliminated. Um, get off of the get off the aerial and just try to try to pull into the fights for me. Okay. So C9 as solo, stay naughty. We got Sin as a duo on the side. Sin OXG is a as duo. A solo. Yeah. G2 is the last full squad. I don't think we have comms on them, but I think they're looking pretty good to win this. Uh, we do have comms on them. Let's go check them out. All right, we're gonna listen in. We gotta we gotta hard focus the left team so they don't come towards us. The RV okay, team. The, the right team has the RV team. team. So they can queue up on us. I know. They, they can't Horizon also. I'm healing up swaps. I'm healing up swaps. I've already all, done all it. I've already done it. RV team. I have this guy. Right, somebody somebody we have, has we have right swaps there. here. We have swaps here. We just got to hard focus the fucking right team so they don't fucking come up top. I'm watching. Yeah. I'm going to watch this. RV. I think it's only one in the RV. You watch the RV team, Jordan. We're watching the left. I think it's just one. I think it's, it's just right. one. It's just about. Kill there. 3v3. Nice, 3v3. Three three. Dropping my ult. Nope. Okay. That's awesome. Love that. Nice design. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just playing low ground. They're just playing low ground. Playoff swaps. Playoff swaps. Playoff swaps. Yeah, playoff swaps. Uh, I'm kidding. Off. 94. I'm kidding 94. Off. Crack horizon. Crack horizon. Bro, this is so troll. It's fine. It's fine. Horizon queued up. I'm playing in your queue. Broke it. They're, they're, they're in queue. They're in queue. They're in queue. Kill this bitch! Find himself! Great job, one player left. Crack Horizon. 180, 180. Let's go! Wait, was it? 
Was there just two? Okay, okay. GG is G2 What's takes the first me game. The time. I swear to fucking god. I, I look like a fucking AI. I go to queue up, cancels me. Bitch. I go to fucking. Bro, yeah, same, same, so same, go ahead same, and take same, us same, out of same, those comms up, there. I try to throw it away from it and it's still GG. zapped. It, Congratulations yeah, know, to G2 for winning so game bad. one. They didn't realize it was only two. Despite having a seer on the team, sometimes it's hard to see exactly where the indicators of the heartbeats are, but G2, well done. That is a fun end zone and I will say a rare end zone. We tend to have more end zones on the south side of World's Edge than we do on the east or the north side. So I'm always so happy to see something that doesn't end in thermal. We'll probably have two thermal end zones the next two games because of it. But um, let's go. Game one. We're going to get some stats up for you guys in just a minute and the scores. But who were the big damage leaders that game, Andrew? Can you get some stats for us? Dude, I, I love the comms on that ending where... If you're not used to playing around a Watson Gen, that thing is disruptive. It did it it interferes with like every ability in the game. <laughs> 14 kills for G2. Oh my gosh. 14 man. kills for G2. Sentinels did a wonderful job surviving as a duo. An absolutely insane job surviving as a duo. Getting second place. They did lose Lou a little early. All right, I'm pulling up some uh, some stats real quick for you. Yes, Andrew's going to get some statistics for us. But here's a look at the overall kills and placement. These are not the current scores. These are just kills and placement. We will get scores for you in just a moment. Scroll up. You should have it, I believe. Uh, it's just this. I don't, I don't think it's the full. Not the kills. Uh, I'm just, uh, I don't think, it's not going to load anything. Okay, okay. So we might not have stats this game. We do need a code from... You need to get a code. If we get that code, we'll get some stats for you. But we will have the scores for you in just a minute. Man, I don't know, like, I feel, I feel bad for the disconnect there, you know? Like, I almost want to restart the server. When you see someone disconnect like that, when there was still 18 squads up, Furia versus NRG, that's a fight I really wanted to see, and somebody disconnected. I, that could be server side, that could be there, that could have been an issue on their end. Like, Apparently, I've been told that they are disconnecting quite a bit, that individual person that did disconnect. Um, yeah, you know. It's still, it's something that's still unfortunate, it happens. Um, if enough players are complaining about lag or with the server, let us know. We will try to reset it on our end um we have multiple codes i don't want this to be an unplayable server game but unfortunately those things do happen duty you weren't a gamer back when you had to compete for the internet at the house no i only started playing video games when apex came out do you do you know like during counter-strike um i could be on the phone or i could be playing counter-strike Let's not date yourself too much right now. So, like, if somebody needed to make a phone call, like, we had to get off the internet. Let's not date yourself too, too much. Like, you're, you're, you're spoiled. You're spoiled. I don't know. We live, right, in, we live in good times right now. We do. All right, here's a look at the teams that are competing. And we're going to get some stats up for you and game two started in a minute. But let's take a look at how that this series works, how the series works. If I could get my other graphic up. Uh, leaderboard. I have the main leaderboard real quick. Hold on. May I? Sure. Uh, let me see. Hold on one sec. I can do it. I, I've got overall scores. Okay. I have the scores for you. We'll go over how this qualifier works um, from Monday qualifier to the Thursday tournaments. I'll get into more details on that, but let's take a look at the scores first and foremost. Let me know when you got it. I have scores here. Do it. And no surprise at all, no doubt about it, G2 is going to take the lead in first place with 26 points, C9 in second place with 11, Sentinels in third with 10, not far behind them with 10 points also, OXG and ESA rounding out the top five with eight.
Yeah, that was a huge game out of G2. They were in a really good position at the end. It, a lot of the teams at the end were duos and solos. So they got... They were the only like full like team up, but they did a wonderful job. I mean, any of these guys can 2v3 a squad if they make one mistake, and G2 just did not make a mistake there at the end. Yeah, they had a pretty easy cleanup. Some games are like that. Some games feel like you just kind of walk through the game and everyone's just in front of you to easily shoot. The end, the last, like, whole round for G2, they were just cleaning up and uh, and really weren't contested hard and in the fights. Again, we're going to try to have the ads play in between the games. That way you will not miss any of the action. Finishing up a quick ad break right now. And then for the next games, guys, we will get some really cool stats for you. We're going to get the total... Who has the most damage? Who has the most kills? We can even show you who has the most headshots. We have some really interesting stats we'll make sure to show you in between these games. And I think we're probably ready to roll. I'm going to say 30 seconds. Um, No. Nope. We are waiting for Furia to fully restart. So you can Come see Come on, Furia. They're going to try. They're having some PC issues, unfortunately. We'll give them a minute or two um, to hopefully reconnect back to the lobby. Which member of that? It was... um. We got Panders, his Watson. What's the third there? Zara. Is that a tricky? Yes. Hmm. All right, guys. Again, Andrew and I, as you will notice, are two of Give the only ads. spectators in this lobby here. So if there's a team you want us to spectate, now we're going to prioritize teams that are showing <laughs> the action, teams that are fighting. But if there's a team that you want us to spectate, please make sure you let us know. We have complete control over who we watch, who we cast over. You let us know. Let me see right now in chat which team you're rooting for and who you want us to watch. So the one contest on drop is going to be... Countdown. We had a countdown, countdown contest, yes. And who was there? There's one team not running Valk, a good strat or not. Um, not. Well, if you take a look at placement, I will say again, I'm going to show you this data here on the first place team. We had a Valk. We did have a Valk on the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, you know, so that is completely um, up to which team that wants to run that particular comp. But there is a reason why Valk does have a 99% pick rate in these tournaments. Yeah, I mean, not running a Valk is is great if you get good zone placement and good zone pulls. But you can't always predict, even if you do get, let's say you land Fragment and the zone zone pulls towards Fragment. Well, you know, it could pull a super late game to a really weird spot where you have to have a Valkyrie to move there. Like, even if you are in Fragment, sometimes you have to move to another building. And the only way to do that is with Valkyries. So, like, it's it's a legend that you just have to run right now. Okay, we're going to get game two started here as soon as I get the A-OK -okay from Tempo. It looks like Zara is back in the lobby. I do hope this server is smooth for everyone. Again, um, we have other codes. If it's not working out, we can just certainly try another code. We have backup ones if need be. I want this to be fun and playable for everyone. I see a lot of NRG fans in chat, though. Okay. Let's go. 30 seconds, and then we go for game number two. G2 with a massive game. That's going to be very, very good for them long-term because now they can kind of not not play under pressure. They can um, play Start safe. Start out hot like that is just a nice big sigh of relief for them. Now, is there a command in chat to access scores also? I'm not sure if there is. If there is, could someone let me know so I could help remind chat? If there's not, that's okay. We have scores on our end also. We'll make sure to keep showing them up. There you go. Is it exclamation point scores or exclamation point brackets? I'm not sure which one ended up working there. It's brackets, pink same. Okay, exclamation point brackets. Thank you, pink. All right, so this game we're looking for... We're looking for Furia to not have a disconnect and have a great game, as well as energy. I want to see them fight again. I would like to see an energy Furia fight. 3v3 okay. with no disconnects. All right, all right. Well, we're going to watch Team Furia and Team Ass as they most likely cont um, contest Countdown again. 
I'll go ahead and spectate Team Ass if you want to spectate Furia, and we'll try to show you guys again both sides of the fight so you don't miss any action from either side. Game two is starting right now. We'll get the graphic changed in just a moment. All right, so keep a super close eye on, was it staging? Countdown. 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 Everybody else is gonna go do their typical thing, guys. If you're new to these tournaments, everyone has pre-agreed upon landing areas that keeps it nice and clean. You don't want any weirdness happening at the beginning of the game. And occasionally there are areas where two teams land because they both wanna land there. They both feel like that is the best area and they cannot agree any further. So that's what's happening in Countdown. These teams are, vi they, they want this as their POI moving forward and they will not budge. So they're gonna fight for it. All right, I'm gonna be on Team Ass. You get on Team Furia. As Team Ass has landed, we're gonna show you both sides of this as they quickly loot up and are hopefully even at the same POI, yes they are. Okay, here we the go. The armors, mass here. going for the armors in the Furia middle. right over here. This is huge for Panders to be able to get the armors in the middle. This is a, ma a major, is, does Ash just sit up on top? They do. They're on top. It looks like Mac is getting extremely low here, but hitting the headshot and a body shot on a wingman. Gonna get one player extremely low there, but he is also low yeah, and is down. getting knocked. He gets knocked by Panders. Amazing longbow shots as you see out of Gent right there, the 106. And oh. getting the knock, Gent. That's Great huge. Longbow shots there, evening that fight up here. Now we have a 1v1 Slurpee. Trying to get the PK shot, the dreaded 11. Oh my. And the tables have turned. Oh, it is just down. Wow, that was so close. Team Ass winning the 50 50 Yo. that game. That was close. So gonna, close. Furia took it game one. Ass took it game two. I'm going to say Jint was he was massive there getting the knock with the longbow. There was no reason he should have gotten that knock with the longbow. That was a really good fight. And I'm now glad that these two teams are landing on top of each other to provide us with some early game excitement because we probably just have a couple minutes of looting from the, everyone else. And Andrew, look at this. I think we might have a Skyhook ending, a Skyhook or even a Countdown ending. This is great. You know I love this. Two north end zones back to back. What is this, we'll Apex? I promise you, I have no say over where these zones are ending and where they're pulling. But if I did, I would have picked this end zone. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at a fight, and uh, you let me know if there's anything better going on. But this is okay. what we got right now. I'm looking at the fight over in Lava Siphon, it is TSM, and they are pushing. We're gonna go into comms with them because Ooh. this is gonna be high. They're up against Optic. They're up against Optic. Optic is trying to run away. They're, they're gotta be, they're gonna, they're gonna... Wow. If we can queue up and get on... No, I don't think so. I don't they're, think gonna, so. they're gonna run away now. Oh, oh. fuck, man. I didn't even get... Okay. All right, so, well, that's not going to happen. You let me know if there's anything better going on. No, Optic did um, did get away right now. It's yeah, going to so be a do... couple minutes of looting. ESA could try to push on 100 Thieves. There's really no reason for no, them no, no, to. No, 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 Look no, no, at this no. zone, though. Look at this zone. There are a couple of end zones that end up pulling exactly where 100 Thieves is already playing. 100 Thieves is one of the teams that does a wonderful job of getting final position getting end zone there's quite a few um in this skyhook area that end right here another one that tends to end right about here looks like they're banking on it being one of those two end zones so we're gonna see a lot of teams alive i'm going to go ahead and even predict that we're gonna have 15 teams still up even by the time round one is completely closed you can see a couple teams rotating in here sentinel is gonna try to take the back side oh they're gonna go all the way back here taking a little bit of damage on that rotate Hoping that Lou can have a clean server this time around. I do know, I think I heard that he had a slight disconnect. 
I might take the screen here. We have Lava Siphon. We have TSM and LG looking at each other. I'm not sure if they're actually going to do this or not. No, they don't want to do this. They don't want to do this. Sorry, back over to you. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do this. These teams, once they get into a building like this, um, you can see um, SSG. We didn't really have a chance to spectate them too much game one, but rocking the Newcastle along with the Watson. Newcastle and Watson really are a match made in heaven. They play extremely well together. I do, I do love to see this. This um, comp was popular. 100 Thieves was running this a couple months ago, and I think this is a really smart comp. I enjoy watching the gameplay with those two legends together. But Ooh. all these teams are going to hang out here in Skyhook for a while. A OXG on the side. They just ran smack dab into another team on rotation. And once again, I don't think they want to fight either. Trying to rotate out of Survey Beacon. Yeah, these teams, um, all these teams you can see are very, very urgently trying to get into zone. This uh, um, th this new zone is very uh, brutal. I'm going to go ahead and take it back over and spectate Team Ass. Team Ass, because we do have a Kraber in play here. And they are both very far south. And going to have to fight right here. We're looking for a Kraber shot to connect. That is a wonderful Seer ult here, providing complete visuals of where everyone is as they're rotating. And they're going to try to quickly get out of there. You can see the little Valk's wings stick up. Amazing, a connection of the Kraber right there. Love to see it. They're going to be aggressive and want to push up on this. They do know that their teammates are holding an angle. Looking for another shot here. Oh, just barely missed as that Watson did drop down. Ooh. A little to the right. Can we get Imagine. another Kraber shot, please? NRG is sneaking up behind Team Ass right now. NRG is sneaking behind them? NRG up on Team Ass. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. This fight's taking a little too long. That certainly can happen. And now that the Team Ass knows that they're pinched. A Kraber shot here would definitely help slow down the attack. Looking for one as Slurpee gets knocked mid-air in a Horizon tack. You hate to see it. But these guys are just so strong. Their aim is too good. Not even safe as you're strafing mid-tack. Gonna try to get a Skynade to hold off one of the teams that is surrounding them. This is just... Oh, he has a sliver oh of health, and Team God. Ass are going to be eliminated there. Look at the debt. Look at the kill feed. NRG, sweet <laughs> with the grenade death right there. NRG. I'm going to show you OXG pulling up inside, trying to get a spot. They just flew in with the Valkyrie, trying to get a spot in Skyhook, and they landed on a very unfortunate building that already had a team in it. You see all the teams already queuing up here. OXG down a player. Kupski is dead and thirsted. They. Probably aren't going to be able to res that. Going back to the fights that are happening here around Landslide, um, I'm going to show you the map here. We do have yeah. Team Casuals. This is the team that held off the initial attack from Team Ass. Energy, as you know, did take out Team Ass. They did a great job taking them out. And now there are two full teams here, but look who's not far. I wasn't sure if G2 could hear all this action, but TSM definitely hears it. It looks like they're going to make their way through the tunnel here. And... If they can hurry up and get there and pay attention to the kill feed, this could be a good cleanup for TSM. Great use of the Horizon abilities to grab height right there, get the knock and the thirst. Trying to get the last player out here. Can we get a charge rifle finish? Somehow still surviving, somehow wow. getting away. <laughs> With a sliver of health on that Valk. That, is TSM again, gonna jump on that? That is casuals. Casuals right there. This was the Valk that got away. TSM just showed up to the party. Uh, fight has definitely subdued a bit, so I'm not sure how active they want to be here. All right. Um, they both said gonna, hello to each other. We're gonna go into comms. So I think they want to be active here. I want to hear what they have okay. to say. Let's see what TSM does. They have 40 seconds before they really do have to make some moves. Here. Two guys on height. Everybody should just back up. Everybody should just back up. Back up. I think we can fight that. They have a Kraber, too. It's coming yeah, from like crack. Look at that killing right there. Right, well. 
All right, that was short ended. As soon as we, guys, we have Caster's a caster's curse. Caster's curse. As soon as we listen into TSM, they stop fighting. They immediately stop fighting. All right, let's see if we can get some action maybe back up on the north side of the map. Now, again, there's so many buildings in Skyhook, so there's going to be so many teams that are going to coexist. And, guys, oh, oh, this is 100 Thieves building. This is yeah. 100 Thieves building. Um, I don't know if they're going to let them live here. No, 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 no. No, you can't just go into 100 Thieves building. Well, wait, but 100 Thieves. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Did yeah, they you move can't out? Just go in 100 Thieves building. No, I they think died. 100 G2 Thieves. Died. Okay, okay, okay. G2's instantly died. They landed on 100 Thieves building and instantly died. Yep. So that's the issue. If if you want to rotate late and you land on the wrong building, you're going to be instantly dead. There's nothing you can do about it. So you got to be right. very careful. A couple people asking which teams are eliminated. Again, we have lost casuals, G2, OG, RNG, Team Ass, and Team Furia. Some surprising teams here that are already eliminated. Complexity is having a great game as well as NRG. They have the most kills in the lobby so far. Three kills apiece. Fourteen squads up. Zone two is almost completely closed. TSM and NRG, two teams that are a bit out of final zone, making their way. They should not run into each other. It looks like one team's going to head more east, and the other's heading more west. But they know about each other. Utilizing Sears passive here. You guys can see a slight blue haze on that rock in the distance. That is Sears passive. If anyone was anywhere within that area, Sear would have a yellow indicator on the center of their screen. Seer arguably one of the strongest legends right now in Apex. Not having any nerf or buff recently at all. It's just a matter of the play style changing and as soon as there's more Seers in a lobby is when he becomes very dangerous. He can do it all. He cancels everything from heals to abilities to wall hacks. He does it all. Also has a small hitbox. He's skinny. He is skinny. Let me show you. He's a string bean. It is a. It is one of the characters that does everything well right now. Uh, and many would say very unbalanced. Unbalanced. I did notice probably about eighty percent of the teams are running a seer. Oh, nice. Interesting to see a couple of the teams without kills. 75% of the teams are running Seer. Let right, me just show you real quick, guys. All right, they're going to fight TSM, Andrew. Oh, they are going, going to fight TSM. So NRG it's was looking for them. NRG, you guys noticed they weren't finding them as they were trying to head up the west side of the zone. They purposely went around, I think, to look for a team that they had an idea that was going to be rotating in late. I'm going to go so, comms. TSM. Right, TSM now. versus NRG. Rock. They backed up. They backed up. I'm energy four they six, might five, rotate nine, back five. and it looks like they did rotate back oh shot they did them. it's the caster's curse as soon as we listen in to tsm there's no fight now they're getting shot from the other direction can we buy a fight no we cannot buy a fight it is a skyhook end zone there's going to be no fights until the very end, and they're all going to happen at the same exact time. That is what Skyhook is like. And they're good. Zone 3, you do not want to be in Zone 3 at all, so they are not going to... They, they're, they're, they're fully committed to this other rotate here. All right, well, back to the map, because that's all we can look at at the moment. You yes. can see the zone... Mm -hmm. And there are there are multiple buildings open on the edge here. NRG is just gonna walk in. They're just gonna have a great time. FTX right. on the other hand, TSM, they don't know where the heck to go. So this is gonna be pretty awkward. And they're getting this shot out of the sky. Going to be a lose somebody right here. Scary this is rotate be for them. Super sketchy. And they're landing on a hundred thieves. Nope, they opted they're for the other going building. To die. They are. There's nowhere safe. They're that just is going to die. They're going to die on the rotate. That is one of the best teams in the game. You see NRG just gets to walk in for free. If you fly in, there's a chance you can't see what the heck you're landing on. And that is the risk of rotating into zone so late when there were 14 teams up. Um, there's not, you know, 14 different buildings here. 
This area where Sentinels are right now, I'm gonna show you guys here on the back side of what we call train station. I love this area. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to get enough uh, damage to level those shields up. They're getting close to it though. Just a couple more shots for Crest and Lou and they should hopefully both have purple. But there are two teams here. As you can see Man. by the Sears heartbeat indicator. I'm not sure if he meant to drop there. I'm, I don't know if he meant to drop. Okay, maybe he did, maybe he did. And I think we're gonna have a fight. Big arc stick would be a huge game changer here for the fight, but this is a Newcastle team. This must be SSG. I think they're one of the few teams running the SSG, a Newcastle. And we are getting some flesh damage here with these grenades, but you know that Newcastle is paired with the Watson. Sounds like the shield pylon is also down too. Taking some big damage there. They're gonna wanna swing and get the Seer down after that good arc stick from SSG. Crust going in, just trying to figure out what to do here as they want to, I don't know what they're gonna do. Are they gonna run? Get back to height, get back to height. And they have to play as a duo. You know what, Sentinels got second place last game playing as a duo. They can do it again if they have to. NRG decided to push in here. They are trying to take the center building and it does look like uh, we have Sweet on the Seer trying to get him. We have three teams on the center building you can see right here. This is gonna be pretty awkward. Guild going down. Somebody above him at a really good angle. OXG also just getting eliminated. That full squad is out. We have 12 teams up. NRG thought they were completely fine. Unbeaten out, they, there was somebody right above them that they didn't see. This is super chaos. Grenades are coming in. The frag is on them. Nice LG fully sweep. pushing in. LG fully pushing in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to LG's point of view. Luminosity Gaming gonna have to fight as they're all stuck inside a Horizon Hold here, trying to get away as quickly as they can, but getting shot from a team across the way. Yanya is the only one alive on the squad right now. I'm gonna try to hide behind the knockdown shield. Can't really see anything. Connecting a lot of those shots. Can't push in because of the Watson fences. Getting shot by a team over on top of the train tracks there. I've seen Yanya clutch these. Amazing flatty shots. Oh, he kicks. <laughs> a little drop kick for some extra pizzazz. He's gonna rotate around. Actually not in a bad spot here as long as the team you can see right to his left to the east does not peek over. We're gonna let him. Um... I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull. NRG is trying okay. to get into zone. They did They did get a reset and then Sweet goes down. So they're gonna have to res again with the gold bag. We're good, Guild's gonna cover. And there's somebody on their roof as well. So NRG doing a really good job here. They are getting a lot of action. Getting down multiple times, but being able to reset. There's a team right on their roof. We can see that. CLG, Wash, Demi, Washi, and uh, Nightmare. We do have dude, three teams here. Three teams on the center building. In 40 seconds, they all have to move off the center building. It's going to be a complete disaster for them. So Guys, they need to figure it out. I don't see. I'm calling it. I know it's early. There's 10 squads. Only half the teams are limited. But this is looking so good for SSG. With where this zone pulled and where they are in the comp that they are running. Newcastle, look at the map. Look at the zone. 100 Thieves in a really good spot. 100 Thieves is in a really good spot, but they have a lot of windows. They have a lot of windows, Andrew. That's my only issue. Now, both teams mm -hmm. notice this. Mm -hmm. They have Watsons. They have Watsons here. With so many Horizons in the lobby, Watson is incredibly take, take. strong. NRG trying to make some moves. NRG knows in 10 seconds they have to move, so they're going to try to make a move early, but they did get shut down, having both shields get broken, and they're trying to get angles here. Um, they, you can hear the team above's gonna Valk. So that's good for them. Now they're getting shot from SSG. They're gonna push this team underneath. That's a G7 doing that. Let's go. Um, have an aerial view. I'm gonna show you really quickly as you can see they as do. these teams try to drop in. They do have to fight this. There's one person left. They're gonna win this fight. Energy's gonna be able to walk in. Multiple teams. Energy cleaning up. Nathan with a triple kill. Now they have to push into another fight here. Another three stack. They don't have any cover. They are, they're as good as dead here if this other team. Something Nathan about push. the seer ult that is just so beautiful from the third person perspective. I will go back to first person point of view as we do have one, two, three teams on the 100 Thieves building here fighting. 100 Thieves still oh, do hold down. the top floor. 
energy out. ESA is on the top, the roof of the building, and C9, as you can see, is on the outside. They have a back wall that they're playing off of. Three teams here, all looking at each other. Again, I'm feeling really good. Sentinels surviving as a duo. They can do it. They did it game one. They can do it again. C9 getting focused by all the teams here. I'm going to go to the first person point of view as Rocker takes the tactical up. Going to try to drop back down, possibly hit a bat if he has any. That missile swarm is going to do some damage right there. Having to get rid of the gas as he's taking damage nonstop. Let's check in and see what Stainati's doing. We're going into comms with C9. Okay. Let's listen in. Oh, they did lose Zach. We're going to try to get the res I'm on him. Oh, fuck. I'm going to jump on us right now. They won't. I'm, dead here. I'm batting. I'm batting. Why are you dead, bro? What? My fault. I don't mean to say it in a mean way, but should no, not be dead. Fine. Yeah. I was Dude, you guys think we ape high? I'm getting focused. Mocking up all. Mocking up all. Mocking up all. Okay, then we have to go in low. 60 on Caustic. I'm going to ult in three seconds. KP on the. Oh. We'll get all the info. We're going to have to go in bottom floor and double melee the door. Yeah, I'm healing. And then I'm down. Yeah, yeah. You guys ready? I'm going to pop a range and I'm ready if you want. All right, I'm going, going. Double melee. I got stuck. I got stuck. I'm going to stay alive here. I think. No, I'm not. How am I getting stuck? Hide there, hide there, hide there, hide there. Don't move from there. Trust. They're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting. They're fighting. Trying to get placement. Stick it, trust. Yeah, do it, do it. Is there a swap in the box? They can't hear. They cannot hear. They cannot hear. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. Swap the box. Swap the box. They don't know. No swap. No swap. I got a bat. I'm going to die to zone here, I think. No, I'm not. Nani, shoot this log. Shoot the team on the right. Shoot the team on the right, I think. These guys. Please knock. We're good. I need to make Nani, it. Nani, go up a level. Go up one level, I think. They can peek the window, though, on us. No one in the second floor. They just jumped off I or something. Jumping. I need a bat. I'm dropping you a bat. Drop you a medkit. I am shooting up here to go down. We're dead, we're dead. We need to go up a level oh before this it's Newcastle team comes out on us, bro. We have story, to go to that second floor. First story floor. and second. First story and height. Not yet, though. Johnny, when Caustic team drops, you need to go out. Johnny, above you, focus the guy above you! Fly it, fly, 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 fly! It's a 1v1 in the air! 3v1 in the air! Oh, wow! Nice oh, try, I thought that's so good. I have to get a Massey for a minute. All right, here we go. We got a really good finish there. And ESA take the dub game two right there. Well played, ESA. Heavy moments there at the end. They almost pulled it off as a duo. They really did. And again, guys, we try not to cast over while we're listening into the comms because that is so incredibly hype. And you know, there, there's enough emotion. You don't need to hear me run my mouth too at the same time. I love listening in to C9. Um, I will say I noticed they, they were being rather polite to each other. They were being extremely, they were being rather polite to each other and I love that. So again, when we're listening in to teams, we're not gonna be talking over them. Um, you know, you, you don't wanna hear five people trying to talk at the same time. It is chaotic, it is, it's too, too much. Um, but well done. C9 ended up getting quite a bit higher placement there than I thought they were going to. You know, then six when six teams were up, they were in rough shape. So they ended up getting that top three finish there. Only one kill, not the kills that they wanted, but really good placement. Really, really good placement there. Very proud of them. But yeah, it was funny there at the end. Um I who was it on C9? They kept saying, like, I'm dead, I'm dead. Like, I don't know. One of them kept the calling their death. Four minutes. It was I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. dead. And then he would never I'm die. And they, I, I think I'm dead as own. Nope. I'm All dead. right, Andrew. Do you have the code <laughs> so you can get some stats up to us now, though? Did you get that code? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some overall stats. It would be really cool to see what teams are um, doing the most damage out of everyone that's played so far. Who do you think has the most damage in the first two games? I want to see your prediction. Not the team. I want to know the individual player that you think has the most damage. Yeah, which player on G2, though? Who? Game two. I'm only going to be able to get data from that one game. Sure? Yeah. It's I need the same to, server. It's a, I know, but it's, a, yeah, you can't, you know what I'm saying? No. Like you can put it in one and then it saves and then you do two and it saves after the after each game. 
Okay. I didn't have the code, though, so we'll okay. just do damage per game. All right, so we'll just have damage for this game. Sorry, guys, we did not have the code at the start. And I'll have scores up to you in just a minute. So we're guessing now who has the most damage just off of that most recent game. That is what you were guessing in chat. Then I'll have this, the final scores up to you in just a minute. Go over, um, we'll go over here. Yep. I'm pulling that up right now. Oh, what's up, guys? Hi. Oh, I didn't know I was going to have a close up. You think Nick Merckx has the most damage? Maybe. Maybe it was him. Maybe he had so much damage I didn't even see him in the lobby. Yeah, I'll work on that for a minute. Anyways, so the... Um, we do have scores. I'll go ahead and get the scores up to you guys if you want to see the Game 2 scores. As, the scores. As you know, G2 was in first place after Game 1. They had a whopping 26 points. I do now have some updated scores for you. G2 did lose their first place spot. They are in second. They are in second. It looks like they are still hanging out with the same number of points. I'm going to take the screen over here as ESA is in first place with 33 Points after that huge game with two G2 in second place with 26 NRG in third with 22 C9. The team we were just listening to there at the end with 19 points in complexity. Rounding out the top five with 17 points. We're going to hopefully try to get the damage over to you guys soon here. It looks like we do have a guess of who had the most damage. Thank you for the poll. We're doing scores a little differently. Um, typically, when we run events, we like to do all the scores, but we're, we're having someone else do the scores right now. So that's why we're not able to get all the stats and data we typically do. Hopefully, by next event, we'll be able to use the, the software so we can do all the scoring ourselves. Yeah. I do see the damage stats, though. We're going to get game three started here in the last game on World's Edge, hopefully in just a moment. You like my wallpaper? Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, too, guys. We are His and Hers Live. My name is Judy, or you can call me Juka. This is Andrew. We're going to be live every Thursday, but let's take a look at the damage. Here we go. We have some cool stats we can show you um, moving forward with our events. One of the stats here is damage. Big D, we call it. Who's got the big D this game? And it is none other than Fury with a 25 98 your top 20 damage dealers right here just for this most recent game silent we didn't get the code for game one so unfortunately i don't think we're going to have those stats like i said moving forward we're not doing the scoring we will hopefully be able to that way we'll be able to do all these stats and data that we're used to being able to do but um, All right, cool. We can't do them this time. Guys, we got uh, game number three on underway. I'm going to hit start right here, and we're going. Everybody is logged in, ready to go, and um, let's get this going. I didn't hear any complaints from the players, though. It does seem like that was a slightly a smoother server. I don't think anyone got disconnected. All right, sweet. Game number three, it does... The countdown has been super spicy. We've had um, a fight there every single time. In last game, gentrifying... Or I guess just gent now, sorry. Had a crazy, crazy clutch for his team. Um, getting a longbow kill there when it was the 3v2 that he should have never been able to do. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Super sweaty. I've seen three new castles... We typically will see more Newcastles on Storm Point than we do on World's Edge, but 
Yeah, it does look like we have SSG with the Newcastle Team Nightmare. We just those two. Oh, also complexity. All right, here we go. Staging. What is it, Gibby? I'm new to Apex. Gibby used to dominate Apex competitive. There's a different meta right now. Metas change as seasons go on and balances change. And um, right now it is all about Seer. All right, we want to keep a close eye on Countdown, Andrew. As we enter game three, you do know we're going to have some action between Team Ass and Team Furia. I'll go ahead and spectate Ass again if you want to spectate Furia. Just, let's do one screen this time. Just go uh, just go right on the Ass and okay. play by play. I, okay, I am on Team Ass then. Team Ass won the last 50-50, so we're going to watch them this time. That is their name. That is their name. There. This is a ballsy mood as they move, as they both swing right there on the horizon. Slurpee getting really low. Horizon surviving a lot longer than they thought, but they do get the first knock. I'm gonna try to connect a couple 30-30 shots as there's only two players left on Team Furia. Dodging that Seer attack, that is great. Triple white shields on this squad. All right, they're pushing up. Here we go. Alternator hip fire shots connecting as there is another knock on both sides here. It is a 2v1, but just a sliver of health. Getting the thirst, too. Guaranteeing. Okay, okay, I hear the Valk coming up. They're trying to get the thirst. They said, you thirst my teammate, I thirst your teammate. The longer he waits here, the less chance he has of winning this. Um, looked like there almost maybe was even a slight disconnect there, but Team Furia will be eliminated in there. The first team eliminated. That is the third time these teams have fought on Countdown, on the drop. Team Ass won two of those, but you can see SSG already rotating around. They don't even want to mess with it. They don't even want to mess with it. They're just going to fully... Ah! They're, hugging, they're hugging the Countdown side a bit. SSG wins heavily with loot, but they're going to quickly head over. And I cannot believe this, but we have an overlook ending. We have an overlook ending. You can see that this zone has already uh, been scanned. I think we're going to have OXG and Team Optic possibly fight each other here. Optic usually gets amazing loot as they come and they land a big mod area. Uh, they have the big mod guns, but unfortunately not good shields. Watch Dupe as he tries to go in and get some information on where the other teams are. Guys, have a fight over here. Okay, I was gonna say, chat. You let us know who you want to see too. Andrew TSM and I have complete does control. Have Luda stuck. Luda stuck out in the middle of the field. TSM had a really good, a really good start to this fight against RNG. RNG is gonna be up against it here, trying to two v three. That is Verholz getting very, very low. Madness has an aerial view. Madness had an aerial view, was able to get another knock, but I think that How? I'm trying to 1v1. And down as well. They're gonna they're gonna pull this off. They're gonna 2v3. Potentially TSM. Oh, oh no. Reps. reps got the shots back no there. It's just shot. up to Pow Pow. Reps with a huge sneak attack. I don't know what's going on with your team, but my team's doing a little bit of a res. I'm showing you both sides here. You can see Renegades oh. over here and TSM over here as both teams possibly reset. Dang. Gonna be a 2v2 potentially? Yeah, it's gonna be a 2v2. Um, they get the full, your team's getting the full reset, okay. Well, they got the thirst on Hal. Hal is out of the lobby. So this yeah. is gonna be another- Yeah, mine, they, they, they fully reset. That was a crazy fight. I don't know how much health your team that you were watching had left, but there was only a sliver of health left on Pow Pow. All right, TSM pushing here. They're going to try their odds against the 2v3. All right, Renegades versus TSM. Can they do it? Not connecting in any of those 30-30 shots here. I'm going to watch from Madness's point of view as he does get both of them in that tack there. He can see that they have less than 100 
about 150 damage of health each. Oh, gonna drop in. Both right there, gonna have a little bit of a door kerfuffle. And they're just making sure he's dead. They're making sure he's dead. Sometimes you gotta make sure as TSM do get eliminated right there. We'll move over to another side of the map as they confirm the death on TSM. And we'll go check out Team SSG. As you can see, they're running the Newcastle again. Man, I can't believe they turned that around. That's really, really big for confidence for RNG to be able to turn that around, CP3 and They've TSM. They've been playing so well. They got second place in um, yesterday's tournament, Andrew. So they're, they're feeling pretty good. The confidence, man. The confidence. And Chad, we... We try to be interactive with our casting and production. I will say we cheer on the teams that we want to see play well. We do not talk badly about anyone here because let's be honest, any single person in this lobby is better than all of us. So we cheer about who you want to see. All right, all right SSG, I, it's crazy that you can make this a spot that is actually holdable here. But look at how they made this a playable spot. I mean, they have a wall, a rock, and just fences everywhere. And they're gonna just hang out here for a bit. And that's what Newcastle does. That's what Newcastle does incredibly well. And we saw SSG get a top five finish. I think they ended up with top five last game. Um, keeping a close eye on the map, let's see what Team Turtles are doing. Rambo's got the charge rifle, trying to get some shields up for himself and hopefully his teammates too. That's what I always say whenever you see someone with a charge rifle. You say, it's just to get your shields up. That's it. That's it. We got some people cheering for Nightmare. Well, let's go ahead and check in on Team Nightmare right here. One of the other Newcastle teams. 18 squads are still up. It is the farm rifle. I love that. Yeah, let's take a, just another quick look at the map here. You see the teams rotating in from edge. They're going to try to get into end zone. All these teams here, you see a lot of shots happening. What they're mainly trying to do is level their shields up. They're not normally trying to fight. Uh, this team does look like they might want to fight on the edge over here. This is LG, and we have E8 on top of the hill. He, on top of the hill. We shall see. Team Casuals is also um, a geyser, so they're, they're only... They only have two people, but they're over on, like, the respawn area of geyser, so... E8 has complete high ground. I think LG is going to try to rotate around the other way. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, like I said, all these teams are just trying to level their shields up. If they do get a knock, they might push. Maybe, but for the most part, they're just trying to level their shields up and try not to take too Ooh. much damage. I'm going to take it over because Team Liquid is really close to NRG. I think Guild hears them. I think I think Guild possibly heard them there. NRG, you can see here, Team Liquid is just doing a rotate. They just came off of a redeploy, and NRG is in front of them. Um, I think it looks like, look at that. Some, some just respect there trying to avoid each other. Again, I'm not sure how, how much they knew about the other team's location, but Team Liquid just wants to safe rotate. They do not want to take a fight right here. Um, they were going to run into Sentinels though. Sentinels is one of the other teams that was holding a similar position that NRG was holding, but further north. So this is not going to be good for Team Liquid as they do not have a safe space to roll in. And Sentinel connecting some of these longbow shots. You want to see more of complexity? I'll have Andrew look at them. I'm watching Sentinels right now as they try to hold off Team Liquid. Andrew, maybe let us know what complexity is doing. Chat, you guys let us know. We have complete control over who we can show you. We're going to they try to show hiding. you the teams that have action. They're hiding. I can't even find them. They're hiding so well. <laughs> They're hiding. Excuse me, sir. I found them. I found them. Here we go. They're not hiding. They're just they're discussing loot. They're um, uh, the donut building at Overlook. Mm, they're like in between so many teams. <laughs> you can't right. even see their names on the map. There are a lot of teams. Yeah, it was hard to find them. Another a request to see where NRG is up to. NRG here. Energy was playing edge a bit. Furia dead? Yeah, they, they were the first team to die. They're contesting Team Ass, and um, they're having a trouble right now. They're, they're, they're contesting on drop, so they're normally one of the first teams to die if they die. Hi, Kreesep. Of course, of course. Energy, triple blue shields. They're in this trailer here. Um, not where they want to be long term. Again, they're not running a caustic at all. Not many caustics in this lobby, but you can just see how clustered this is. And I wonder if that's Team Liquid. Is that Team Liquid finally trying to get away in? It is. 
You hear that old guys, that was Team Liquid. This is going to be a sketchy rotate. The Valk ults always are sketchy. They do not have a Watson. They do not have a Caustic. Seer Tack just barely missing them, so he's able to get this bat off. But there is a team right above him. They're going to have to burn the Seer ult like that just to slow them down. You do not want to fight when you're in a Seer ult. Okay, so they were able to make a deposit on this building. This building is now theirs. Show Optic, show Optic. Here you guys go. Here's Optic. A lot of teams in this overlooked spot. Triple Blues on Team Optic. Val holding height. Watching for a team that might try. There, You guys know that there is a crazy rotate that can be done around here. I'm not sure if mm, Val can still do anymore. it even with the nerf from Geyser. Here we go. I got I got G2 landing on top of Team Ass. They're gonna want to fight this. They got the Seer ult down. All right, G2, G2 is in a top points. spot in the lobby. They're looking for some more points. Team Ass is coming off of a good 50-50 though. Not the placement that he wanted of those arcs. G2 comms. Okay, take us in. Wait till we get in. Wait till we get in. Yeah, good fucking queue. 104, 104. Cute horizon behind you. Nice heaven blue on him. He's not dead, 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 dead. Another team. Play for 2v3. Oh my God. team. No. Fuck. Do I just play more slow or do I? Yeah. I I can't do that. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard what happened there. A little dust pop right there, but NRG was just at the right place at the right time. What the heck are, what are they doing? Oh no, I'll tell you, Luminosity is not gonna expect this. Luminosity is not gonna expect this. Kind of a bold move for Renegades as we watch them take a interesting rotate on low ground here. Luminosity is right above them. Um, let's see, let's see what they do. I don't think we have energy comms. Andrew's going to take you into the teams that we have comms on, but we don't, no, unfortunately. We don't. Okay, we do not. Some teams don't like to let us listen. You're and hearing I, the teams that we do have comms on. If you don't hear the comms, we don't have them normally. We do try to highlight the teams as a thank you um, that do join the Discord and the comms. We tend to show them a little bit more. So if your favorite team is not being listened to, it's because they're not here. Make sure you tell NRG. them. Join Discord Looking at and another fight them. here. NRG trying to rotate in. They would rather not fight here. There's 10 seconds on the zone. They have LG down here. Out. NRG doesn't have a great spot to go either. There's not a ton of cover over here on the side. I guess they can just hang on the mountain for a moment, but yeah, they're not going to want to fight that LG team. Looks like I, we have RNG moving. Yeah, I was going to say that's what I'm watching right now. I just took it over. Uh, Renegades are going to rotate. Renegades so hot right now. What do we think, guys? Cutting in second place yesterday, playing really well in qualifiers. This team's been playing exceptionally well. Gonna rotate here. There was a team there earlier. It looks like they have also left, thankfully. Um, no defense on this squad. It's gonna be really hard to hold this trailer. LG landing directly on a team, and this is gonna be a fight. They do not want to fight here, but they have to. They landed directly on a team. Their Valkyrie does not fly that far anymore, so they had to land pretty short. They got to, two of them got down to 20 health, but they are able to stabilize. Inside the building, we do have ESA, so. Not a good position to be in for any of these teams. This team is super split over here. I don't know what's going on. Jelly and double O negative. They're just in shambles. Team casuals. Oh, no. That's I think not they were be good a duo. Yeah, I think they were a duo. You can see the teams that we have chilling. The zone is going to pull over to this open area. Nobody wants this zone. This zone is going to be rough. All these teams are pretty much dead. <laughs> so we're going to have to watch on that. You can see we have teams really in two general areas here. As we have a cluster, I'll take over here and show you the aerial view. Uh, we have a cluster here. We call this the no name outside fragment. We have about five teams here at this area. And then it's going to be the teams that are hanging out up here. And oh my goodness, is that two, maybe even three seer ults? Take yeah. us up here as sentinels are going through it. Let's spectate here as they try to reset here, hit a bat. Sentinels, all three of them alive. 16 squads still up. Looking to get the thirst on a player that I think they already knocked. Or 
gonna go in the front door here. Not connecting that PK shot, not connecting that one either. It happens to the best of us. We're gonna get the Seer attack in as we get one of those PK shots. Lou is trying to heal down below. Crest holding off a third party team as he rotates around back here. Oh, they didn't even get that knock, okay. All right, they're gonna just full send, here we go. Great shots, gotta connect one more wingman shots and Team Liquid will be eliminated. Team Liquid, we watched them rotate in there. They were holding that building and it's hard to hold these areas without a Caustic or a Watson. Not many Caustic or Watsons here. That was a good 3v3. Okay. Um, ooh, 100 Thieves holding down the low ground here and we're gonna see an interesting Looks like he's going to try to ult up on height. You're going to have to send your Valk up to height first in order for him to do that. But no, they're going to keep it down on low ground. Okay. They have this whole corner now walled off. Again, that is something that I'm surprised we don't see more new castles because the ability to just change the structure of the landscape like this and provide your team with so much cover and then to pair it with the Watson pylon to protect them from pretty much everything Horizon can do is a wonderful ability. All right, I'm going to just fly over here and watch Team Sentinels as they try to go in. Actually, no, no, we'll stay on. Oh, no, SSG actually ended up getting the knock right there on 100 Thieves. As 100 Thieves is on the other side trying to hold off Team Sentinels behind them. I'm going to stay on 100 Thieves for a minute and see what they can do. Team Optics above them. Team OXG is eliminated. The other side of the map is just all colliding into each other. It's just two major fights happening here. Unfortunately, we're going to miss some of the fights. We're going to try to show you as much as we can, though. I really like the spot they're playing using the pipe above them for cover. I mean, there is a team right above them again, guys. Optic is above them. We have SSG behind them here holding the very backside edge. SSG found themselves in a really good spot. And then Team Turtle... Team Turtle really holding a lot of this real estate. Jig, I'm going to pull it, okay? Okay, take it. C9 on the other side here. There's a lot of teams that just kind of just fell into each other. Zach Mazer, last one. Really good try here. It does look like the last teams are all cleaned up over here. It does look like Team Fat's the last one up. And then back over to you, your side, Judy, now is probably fighting. They are um, fighting. They absolutely are. Now fighting. Only three squads up. There's nowhere to run. Everyone is just dying. No, this is three squads. It is going to be, I think, do we have turtle in comms? Do we no. have turtle in comms? Oh, unfortunate. SSG versus I think, turtle. Yeah, it's going to be SSG versus turtle. So I'm going to go back to SSG as they're going to pop a brand new ult here. Not taking much damage at all as this is a fair 3v3. Very rare to see this, but you'd love to see it. They did lose Zen. Getting the crack right there. Getting two knocked. Going to try to do a res? There's no way. Look at this. Look at this. He moves faster as he can respawn like that. And it is going to be enough. And you love to see Newcastle pop off like that. Just res right in front of your face. It's the only legend that can do that right now. SSG, well played. Clean. How insulting to have a res right in front of your face. Rough. You love to see it. All right, SSG taking game three, and we are done with World's Edge. We're going to change maps. We're going to go over to Storm Point. Balance Legend, by the way. I mean, everyone likes to complain about Seer. No doubt about it. People like to complain about Seer, but I'm just saying with the right team, Newcastle is deadly. How many Newcastles did we have that game? Was it three? I bet we're going to see more on Storm Point. Only three Newcastles in the lobby, but that just makes Newcastle look so incredibly strong. So fun. Dude, the that zone is rough. That, you need a Newcastle. You needed a Newcastle for the structure. Rough. Yeah. There was one winner of the teams that were Overlook and one winner of the teams that were basically at the no-name side. So Team Turtles were the winners of the oh. no-name side. Um, Team SSG were the winners of the Overlook side, and they collided there at the end for a fair 3v3. That is so rare in these lobbies to have only two teams alive with a 3v3 at the end. I do like to see that, but that 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 was just a great play out of SSG winning that fight.
It was it has- like five teams that came down from the north and like mm-hmm. five teams that tried to come up from the south. And it was just, it's not even a, it's not a, a, even a fight. It's just, it's just, they literally just all like half of them died his own yeah. or grenades. Like, I don't know yeah. that I love those open field fights like that. It's, I don't know. Yep, we're going to get a new lobby set, so hopefully wreck. the new lobby is smooth for all the players, and we're going to move over to Storm Point. We are halfway done with this tournament already. I cannot believe it. Um, I don't know if the players need a break. I don't know if you guys need a break, but I will say maybe we'll have a couple of minutes here where you can go grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever you want. But let me know some of your favorite moments you've seen so far of this tournament. Make sure you drop a follow on Hyperlux page if you have not already. Hyperlux GG. We're going to be casting these events, hosting these events every thursday hyperlux can we get a round of applause for them guys they are putting up some mad stacks of funds for the apex scene this is the largest third party tournament other than algs this is the largest third party tournament for apex legends we're going to be doing every monday from our stream his and hers live hi if you're new here hi we're his and hers live we're chilling this is my dog cooper got another dog henry they always hang out on stream with us i hope you like dogs we host lots of tournaments lots of events but you can come to our stream his and hers live watch the monday qualifiers and every thursday we're gonna be here with hyperlux in our casting desks thank you guys thank you we've uh put a lot of time and effort into our setup we've been streaming for a little over three years fun fact i hated video games growing up i hated video games Hated them completely. I had a job in mortgages and finance. I was not a gamer up until three years ago when Apex came out. If you want to know a little bit more about how this series works, I'm going to put up a graphic here so you can see, and then we'll get those scores up to you in a new lobby field. Put it right over here. Get the uh, These are the teams that are competing, and we're going to show you how this format of this tournament works. Yeah, let me look for really quickly. I can grab. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, can you get the graphic up? Uh, which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, this one here. Yep, guys. This is how the circuit is working out. This is the circuit. Every Monday, there's gonna be a qualifier. Top ten from that move over to the Thursday event that you're watching right now. So right now, you're watching ten teams that were invited and ten teams that qualified from Monday. There's the prize pool. The bottom ten are going to have a chance to compete again to hopefully get top 10 on Monday so they can be invited back again. Top 10 will reserve a spot to compete again. But I don't want you thinking that you don't stand a chance at all to play and compete in a tournament like this because read the fine print at the bottom. Five teams have an open registration for the Monday events. Now, in order to register, you do have to have at least one player in the top 20 or two from the bottom 20 of the ALGS last chance qualifiers too. But there is a chance for some new up-and-coming talent because there are a lot of players that were in the top 20 or two from the bottom 20. We hope to see some new names, some new talent competing in these weekly events. I've seen a few people say, why aren't tripods playing? Uh, we had a qualifier on Monday and the top 10 went through and uh, tripods did not get top 10. So we're going to re- be doing that again this coming up Monday and we will see if they qualify. Yeah, I'd love to see them as well in these. Absolutely. All we right. Would it love looks to like have them. the lobby is pretty full. Andrew, go ahead and join with the second code. We are waiting on a couple more players. All right. I'm going to download this here. And um, I need you to join the lobby. Okay. And I'm going to put this up uh, right here for you. Yeah, guys. Um, Andrew and I will do stats and whatnot for the next event. So next week, we're going to get the scoring updated. We have someone else doing the scoring for this event. They um, They wanted to do it. So we can't do any of the stats like like we do, but don't worry. We'll get the stats and stuff next next week. Okay, here's the scores overall. Scores overall. ESA tied for first with SSG. G2. Still in the top three, but um, have not gotten a lot of points. Waiting for you to join the lobby, and we'll get started. Okay. I got this. Yeah, I keep that up. Looks really good, guys. You'd love to see a close score like this. 34 points, 34 points, 29, 29, 27, 26. It is anyone's game. It really is. And everything's going to shake up. Everything's going to change right now as we move over to Storm Point. I don't know about you, but I feel like tournaments sometimes when one team has a major lead, it's 
not as exciting to watch. This is what you hope for. Some extremely strong teams I'm seeing. 17th, 18th, 19th place down there. Some big surprises here. They're looking for hopefully Storm Point to shake things up. Yeah, I think we're ready to roll. I'm going to check with the teams real quick. Everybody is in the lobby and... Game four starting right now. Game four. Storm Point underway. All right, so... I would say that Team Ass did two win two out of the three times against Team Furia there. I don't know what that means. Like, do they... I'm going to go out on a limb and say I think they're even because Furia crushed the first one. Furia kind of easily won the first contest. So, so what's so who goes where? The second contest was so close. Do you remember how close the health was? So the second one, it did yeah. go to Team Ass, but it was so, so close. And then the third one, Team Ass kind of easily won. So I, I feel like that both teams are pretty even. I don't know who wins that drop spot. They're going to have to figure it out in another tournament. They're gonna have to. They're gonna just have to do it all over again. Okay, Storm I'm excited spicy. to see Storm Point, guys. Are you Team World Edge or Team Storm Point? Which map do you enjoy watching competitive Apex on? Team Storm Point or Team World's Edge? The girl. I don't know who is she. Who that girl? Who is she? <laughs> I am with you. I am Team Storm Point all the way. I love it. Just having more real estate, a larger map, we don't see fights get contested. We don't see three Ps as well. And okay, guys, we're going to do a quick ad so we do not interrupt you mid-game. Uh, this is game four. Let me update the scoring. All right, sweet. We're going to look for some contested areas. Okay, I'm not let's exactly see. exactly sure what we're going to see here. I do not know. In our tournament, the qualifiers on Monday, we did have a fight at North Pad with two teams. North right. Pad usually is one of those spots that gets a couple of teams. Uh, Furia, they take the north side here, and they are completely alone. I do think, are we going to see Sentinels versus Team Ass? I think so. I think so. Team Ass, one of the newer, newly formed teams, they have to earn their spot. Nope, they're going to Beast. They're going to down Beast. So, no, they're not going to contest Sentinels. Um, there's no way we don't have a fight off drop. Chrono, Tempo, are we having a fair drop with no fights? We still have a third of the teams to land. No, I see, um... Nope. Not at all. Not C9. at all. Right here, C9. C9 indeed. That was an immediate... All landed at the middle. They, they all tried to land in the bottom middle, and Rocker did not get a gun. So it's gonna be a three versus two. It was Actually, a melee death. CV not, uh, C9 with the two. Going to try to sort this out. We will see. Okay, Andrew, stay on that fight. I'm gonna check the map and see if I see anything else. Yeah, yeah. Naughty going to the roof. Naughty has an R9. Gonna push up. Mose Beaks coming out, dropping down. Ooh. Oh no, and it is a cost that they're gonna fight in C9. Surprisingly gets eliminated early on. They're gonna take 20th spot that game. ESA winning that fight. They did have a knock, but they're gonna be able to res. Not even a full kill right there. Shipfall, surprisingly to see down here, this side, E8 and Team Casuals. Really good shields for Team E8 though. Really, really good shields for them. A purple and a blue. Let's see how the loot's looking for Team Casuals. Not quite as good. 
All right, they're going to go in. Uh, let me see if we have either of those. Team casuals or team E8 comms? See. Negative. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think E8 really wants to commit to this fight because of their shield situation. Golden's going in looking for some entry damage. Only vantage in the lobby, if I'm not mistaken. Bold move. Okay, Sears is showing exactly where they are. You can see they rotated out, so they're not sitting directly in his ult. As Mercy gets Mercy down, down extremely low, but they both got each other, so there are two knocks right now. Having an unfortunate door situation right there, as we just saw. If you're not directly centered on that door, you will not get it. Gonna have to reload and get the G7 shot to clean it up. And Golden did get that last shot. GG. Team We're Casual is eliminated. With TSM right now, they are pulling up. TSM lands antenna, so they hear all this fight and reps on Bangalore. Horizon. Look at that, look at that, look at that. You wanna queue up inside, Jordan? I'm all thing. Got one, got one. Nice. nice. Uh, Sears, one shot. Down here. Find back up. Sears, one shot. Literally one. Hop in a bat. Go outside. Nice. 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 I'm going to grab the juicers, okay? And I'm... All right, take us out of those comms. We'll let them loot up. You guys hear that game awareness out of Hal. He knows what where teams land. LG, Luminosity has been landing fish farms, so he knows that those are the teams that potentially have a chance to rotate um, and, and third them. But I'm going to move over now to NRG and Sentinels as they're taking some shots at each other at Checkpoint. You guys in chat uh, yeah. can do exclamation point standings if you want to see the current scores. Exclamation point standings or exclamation point bracket. Nice shots there from Nathan with the car. Oh my gosh. Did you see sweet scout shots right there? So clean. So precise. 100 plus damage. As he's going to probably get this horizon out, but getting extremely low himself, not able to get the knock on the other horizon. Needs to hurry, slide in. Just missed the tactical to get the height there. Two players up. Two players up on NRG. Two players up on Sin as well. And Sweet's going for blood. He's going for the thirst, gonna lock it in. We're gonna show both nope. point of views. Okay, I'm on team NRG. Andrew is on team Sentinels. Sentinels Sit. here, NRG here. Oh, oh, door battle. <gasps> Sweet getting shot in the back. Can Guild clutch this? And it is not enough as NRG get eliminated and you can see Crust not even getting cracked at that moment there. So that was a great fight. Uh, Could have gone either way. Both teams losing a player early on, but Team Sentinels win that 3v3. But guess Yeesh. what? They need a reset, and they need to reset ASAP because Team Fury is on their way. Here they come. Yeah, so we're we're on uh, we're on his Watson pulling up here. I'm not sure if they know exactly. Yeah, they see now. They see now. The pack's probably going to come out. The tag yep. is out. They're going to see low health. They're going to see low health, and they're going to want to push immediately. It is Ult's just seer down. ult after seer ult. They're probably going to try to full run. They may even drop low ground. Uh, they go high ground. All right. Nice his Watson there. taking the, t the t tactical immediately after. Now on height. Now they have the advantage, and that is going to be a good cleanup for them as Sentinels get eliminated and Furio win that. It is deja vu. It really is. Okay, there's no one around them at all. They're fine. Um, guys, Man. a couple of updates on the map, though. Team 
Luminosity Gaming in zone. Only team right now in zone, but they're fine. Again, they land fish farms. They're just taking their sweet time coming in. Probably going to try to maybe scan beacon, get some more zone information. 100 Thieves. Um, I see Team Liquid is also shooting a bit. Liquid running a Loba. Liquid running a Loba. Hear me out. The issue for me is with Seer, it's... We've seen it just, we've seen it in every single fight now. It's it, the seer pulls up, he hits a tactical, you see the people are low, and you just int. It's, too, I think it's too much information. It, it's too much. Well, seer does it all. Seer does the wall hacks. Seer does, seer does the canceling of not only heals, but abilities. Seer does everything. Cause Furia wouldn't have pushed that hard. They only push that hard when they see that the other team hasn't fully healed yet. And not only does it reveal their low health, it cancels the heal, and then they throw the ult, and they can see where everybody is. Like, it's just too much, man. So fun to play, though. <laughs> if we're being honest, I do love playing Seer. I play Seer in ranked a bit. <laughs> Chad, if you feel up for it, what legend do you main? What legend do you main? We would love to see. Maybe we can find some common ground. Even if you're rooting for a different team, it's nice to see. All right, you don't rev? Okay, okay. Okay, SSG going in, gonna drop the smoke, a grenade inside, and they're deciding not to push this fight. I wasn't sure if he was gonna ult. I wonder what changed their mind. Also, SSG opting to run a Bloodhound, Andrew, instead of a Seer. What do you think about that? I like Bloodhound. Bloodhound is really, really good for fighting. Um, not as good as Seer in a lot of circumstances, but if it's like a, just a brawl, like if it's just a nasty brawl fight, Bloodhound's really good. All right, they're gonna try to quickly go up and around to what the area we call Jurassic Park. Frex is super low here. Oh no, madness with the 301 from a mile. Did end up getting the shots there. His team's gonna try to body block some of these. They probably don't have the ammo to to fully get that thirst, although that is a white knockdown shield. Not that much health on that shield, as you can see the teammate here trying to punch for some cover as they don't have an angle and they can safely get that res off. Um, we have a cluster here. We have a bit of a cluster here in Mill. I'm taking it over to Mill. As you can see, Furia going through it again. Furia do lose a player, but they have a solo horizon there left. Team Ass does get eliminated. And there's a whole new team here they're going to have to fight off. This is going to be incredibly difficult for them. I do not know if they can do this. As they're taking zone damage, going to go down here. It is all down to his Watson. As he has to hit a heal and is not going to be enough. That PK shot is going to just satis just satisfying PK shot midair. Who got that final shot? And then probably all three Was that of them. Duke? Was it Duke with the PK shot midair? That was nice. I wish I could have seen that from his POV. Optic. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick look at the overall map here. Um, we are in round two. 15 seconds before it is done closing. It doesn't hit that hard at the moment, so these teams can just chill out here. This is a nice big map, though, so we do have good spacing. Draw, uh, SSG is going to chill over here. Where is this zone going to pull, I'm wondering? Guys, Furia got five kills that game. 13th place, but five kills. So do not worry. That is that is good. That's a good game for them. They're, they're getting the kills. They're not quite getting the placement they want, but five kills. I mean, they had more kills than any team that's alive. ESA has three. Optic has three, but they are eliminated, but they did have five kills. LG on the edge over here, looking like they're going to probably have to fight Nightmare on the way in. Nightmare is gating them pretty good. Uh, we'll have to see if they actually hold this. They're definitely aiming at it. They want it. They see it. They like it. They shoot it. <laughs> and like I said, this is... This is going to be pretty tough for them. They don't have a whole lot of place to go. They, they might just back out and hit the old Valkyrie ult. You know what I'm saying? The old Valkyrie old get out of jail free card. See a request for wanting to see this screen here, right here. Here you go. We do have a couple of teams Ooh. eliminated. But hold up, but hold up, but hold up. We fight and we fight and we, we got a uh, Yanya just got downed and it looks like LG is going to continue to try to fight. They're going to leave Yanya and it does look like Nightmare does successfully get that gatekeep and LG has to turn around and go back. 
Couple teams flying in right here. We have OG landing in. OXG just, ooh. They're getting, oh, it is literally aim practice for these teams. They're just flying up in the air. Who are they getting shot by? There's a team on the side here shooting them. There's a team over here shooting them. I think it's 100 Thieves, shooting, think it's 100 yeah, thieves they're just, shooting them. They're just, uh, they're just in bad shape over here. OXG is going to be a duo as well. So we have OXG as a duo, LG as a duo. Everyone's trying to get into zone. This is a pretty far zone pool for TSM. Uh, SSG has a pretty... RNG also all going to be trying to get into this side here. So it's going to get pretty nasty for those teams. Yep. 100 Thieves just securing a kill for themselves as they did get the thirst on... OXG. Hmm. On me running Ash. On me running Ash. Um, 100 Thieves was one of the first teams to run the Newcastle meta. Newcastle no Watson. I love 100 Thieves trying different comps out. I think out of all the teams in the lobby, they changed their comp the lineup so incredibly often. They changed the legends that they run. I remember um, early on, they were one of the first few teams to even run Seer. They uh, they also ran, when they won ALGS a couple seasons ago, they they had an interesting comp that not a lot of people TSM were running TSM is trying to fly in. There is a lot of places that are already taken. They're going to land directly on a fight. Verholz is in. Okay. Blending this is Team Nightmare. On a fight, Bursty, man. the only one up on Team Nightmare. Getting a crack, though. This really good shots. This is going to be shots. crazy. We're going to go into comms. This is going to be tough for them. Real. I don't know if it's going to hit anything. We should push off of it. We should push off of it. We have to push yeah, off. We should, we should, we should. Close, close, close right. Left side, left side. Close right. Close right. Hard forward. I don't want to. I'll go. I'll go. One guy left, I think. One guy, one guy on the, on the, on the team left. He's just getting shot in the back. It, it really wasn't much he could do. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to do either, right there. Like. G2 only having one player up, but the G2 wasn't necessarily the only issue. It was them getting shot by other teams in the area. Here's one of the teams here, Luminosity Gaming, as they rotate up and around. Only two, uh, only two. so, but it's a 2v1 right here, and they're probably going to clean up G2 and eliminate them. G2 do get eliminated. But if this was the team that... Oh, my God! There's so many teams shooting right there! Ish. <laughs> the indicators. The indicators. They As they are now getting Horizon ulted. It is not going to be enough. This is Team Free Agent Turtles, I believe. LG Namigo with just a sliver of health, and he gets eliminated right there. What was so funny? I didn't see it. There were 10 teams shooting. It's just everyone was just looking right there. There, you need to see this team up here. They have a oh, excuse me, a trident for extra cover. There's that a is. team in the IMC that was also shooting the fight that happened here, and a team back here that was shooting them. So they were just getting shot. Everybody was looking at this poor little hill, as you can see, by all of the death boxes that are um, that are left here. This is crazy, though. We only have six squads up. This is like super rare for this type of server. Uh, there are a lot. There's more room in this area. I feel like we could have more than six teams right now, but that's what we've got. And people are so good at shooting each other out of the air, too. Where do we want to go here? We are Valkolting to the to the rocks. To the rocks. These rocks are pretty decent. They're going to hold. Okay. So we got the team in the IMC. Got the team on the rocks. And... Um, so you asking guys the teams that are alive really quickly we should show you here i do not want to miss action but these are the teams that we have alive turtles ssg liquid esa 100 thieves optic those are the only teams right. that are left alive Team liquid died to zone trying to valk ult. 100 thieves also just getting eliminated there i'm um, sorry that was that was 100 thieves dying to a valk ult. sorry 100 Thieves, um, they they were trying to Valk hold the guy shot out of the air by Team Liquid and ended up dying there while we were looking at the scores. This one team is just hanging out in the IMC still. 
Yeah, it's ESC and IMC. We got we got Team Fat over here on the rocks. Optic up here on top of these tall rocks here. I don't know really who's going to fight next. We'll have to just keep a really close eye. No one's even shooting at each other at the moment. The IMC team is stuck inside. Um, they're going to have to take some zone damage, but they will, they'll will they have to move here really soon. SSG looking really good over here on the they staircase are. under the bridge. They absolutely they're are. They're in the best position. All these other four teams are kind of vying for a spot right here. Um, these four teams, this is going to be awkward for them. Do we have SSG or Optic or Liquid Comms by any chance? Or ESA? We need to get these guys up in here, man. We got ESA. Okay. Well, ESA is stuck in the building. I don't know what they're going to do to get out, but we can go ahead and, as they have to rotate, listen to them. But it's going to uh, be... Let's hear, they, uh, let's hear the It's going to be a really here. tough rotate for them. Uh, really, shit, there's nothing like, possible. Our, 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 I'm worried it's about getting the, the fucking Valko first. Under the bridge, maybe under the bridge is taken. Under the bridge is taken. Yeah, but they they can't split both. They, they either take bottom or height. All right, we got We gotta test that Valko now. Which you gotta Valko test. Now? You gotta test it right here. I cannot. Uh, I. Uh, oh, we're this, done. Uh, uh, we just die. Why'd you press it? Because uh, I don't know. I just I was hoping like you turn enough. I don't know. No, bro. I don't know why'd you press it. If we can't do it, just swing out. All right, all right. We'll let them figure that out. Don't let them figure that. That's tough. That was really tough. Sometimes it looks like, you know, when you hit a res, you're safe, but when you start to stick a res, you get pulled into zone a bit. It's just... All right, let's go. We got Team Liquid under pressure. They got Optic above them, and they got a team on the side SSG as well. behind them. Yes, yes. All right, what's Optic going to do on top there? Optic seems to be focused with SSG as they're rotating in. Look at this. The Seer ult is down. They're focusing. They're full sending on SSG here. Bangalore bombs are down. They're going to have to move out of those. Getting hit. Duke did take a slowdown and a hit from those bombs. All right. They're going to push in. They want to take SSG spot, but they don't really need to. Skittles going in. Yeah, we got three teams up. That's a really good play right there with the Arc Star dropping down to hit the PK shot before it explodes. And Team Liquid rotating around, as I see at the top of my screen here. Going to play behind the rock and then maybe put Optic now in a kind of a bad spot. Optic Gaming having a great game with a bunch of kills already. Six kills on them. Three squads left. SSG down below. Optic on top of the bridge and Team Liquid just over to the side. Oh, drops getting down to almost one shot there, as you can see by the health indicator. We have, uh, man. We do not have any of these teams in comms, so you have to listen to us as we watch. I'm spectating Optic, looking for them to get the dub here. Look how close together they are playing. Liquid has an angle. If they move from that little area there, Liquid's got an angle on them. Pushing up. Nice shot hitting from Knock. Knox is the only one left on his team, but he is full health, and they're getting shot from both teams here. Going to try to get the knock and the punch kill, and they do get a couple of those kills, as now it is only two yeah. teams left. Team Liquid getting the dub overall. I will say Optic dropping off that height there, picking that fight um, early on. They did get a couple of kills. It was a risky play out of Optic, but it ended up getting them a couple kills. But Team Liquid showing incredible patience win that game. Yeah, they were both kind of stuck, one on top of the bridge, one underneath, and they kind of knew there's nothing they could do to really win the game. So they just had to push into each other and go for second place there. I see a couple people asking about this tournament. Yes, this is part of a $100,000 series, you guys. Huge shout out again to Hyperlux for putting on such a big event. Andrew and I are honored and proud to be part of this event. Um, we will be ha uh, casting and hosting the Thursday events here from Hyperlux. There's qualifiers on Monday. We're going to be hosting and casting from our end, from our stream, His and Hers Live. Make sure you drop a follow on both sides so you don't miss out on any of the action. There's tons of watch parties, too. I know um, Nicewig's going to be doing watch parties. I think Daltouche will even be doing watch parties. So uh, make sure you follow Minus Tempos 
socials. Chrono socials. Chrono is doing nonstop updates with scoring. So lots of people involved in this series. We are extremely excited to be part of it. Great game as we are going to move on to game number five. But Team Liquid. Team Liquid with 11 kills in first place. I was. You hate to see that team die trying to Valkyl. Um, that I don't think they could have lived either way. The team that was hiding in the IMC that was um, no, ESA. ESA. I mean, it just it just is what it is. It didn't. I think they're dead either way. Mm -hmm. There. Uh, they they tried to they tried to Valkyl out of a little sliver. Um, mm -hmm. and then basically all the other teams were just trying to jump onto the bridge. But man, I, also uh, TSMFTX not having the best of luck with their rotates with the Valk right now. It's just Valk. Uh, the Valkyl is much shorter and you fly lower than normal so you have to make uh really split second decisions on where the heck you're gonna land and sometimes you just get unlucky like sometimes you get they could have landed on that fight and got six kills and and lived but i don't know man interesting stat for you one seer out of the top five teams seer while you know dominates world's edge tighter quarters tighter fighting yeah. One seer on the top five teams. You'd love to see that. A little bit more diversity with the legends on Storm well, Point than we were seeing on World's Edge. And that's only three team, only three seers in the top ten teams there. So I'm talking about diversity with legends, but unfortunately we do see a Valk on pretty much every single team here. I think everyone is running Valk except for one team. Um the but, difference, though, the difference is like I think I think Seer makes a bigger impact in fights, so it feels more oppressive, you know. Like when you're trying to hit a bat, you get Seer. Seer's just Seer's more nasty. Like I think for me, I don't like Seer because it just feels very oppressive. Valkyrie yeah. doesn't feel oppressive because it's like kind of um, stuff happening behind the scenes when people are rotating. Uh, but uh, both of them, both of them are a little bit too much. All right, guys, look what just popped up on my desk. It is going to be the current scores after four games. We're done with World's Edge. We finished all three there. That was our first game on Storm Point. SSG taking first place with 46 points. ESA in second place with 41. G2, G2, remember they came out really hot. They had a good game, a good start. 35 points, 100 Thieves rounding out the top five, as well as C9 with 32 and 29 points. These scores are all still so incredibly close. Mm. Okay, SSG. SSG on top right now. ESA. I know that they're kicking themselves a little bit for that last rotate, but again, they played incredibly well. They were in that IMC, and they were able to snag quite a few kills um, from all of the teams that were on that hill as we were watching, you know, T Luminosity and Team TSM in that one area that was getting shot from everywhere. Yeah, I don't know, guys. We're not playing the ads, but if anyone who is able to play the ads, if we could play them before we start the next game, let's get the ads so we can um, hopefully have a clean, clean game. I don't want you guys to miss any action. Now, I will say I do think you can sub to the Hyperlux channel if you want to avoid any and all ads. You can sub to their channel. No matter what, please do drop a follow, though, because we're going to be doing this every single Thursday. you want to see an idea of what's going on, uh, make sure you're following the socials. We do have a list of everything. Yeah, I just don't know where it saves to. Downloads. I just don't know where it saves to. Downloads. Okay. And then socials. Okay. Okay. But either way, it's better. it looks better on that screen. All right, guys, looks like we're about ready to go. One more quick ad break, and we'll get this game five started. hit start 
Get the game updated. Game five of six, second to last game already. All right, so we had a couple contested areas, even on Storm Point, so this is pretty interesting. We'll have to keep a close eye on, uh, what was it? Was it C9 at the very beginning that lands? Yeah, C9 was fighting at the very beginning. Yeah, we'll have to keep a really close eye on that. Looking to see a big game out of TSM here. They're um, they're looking for a good stroke of luck on some rotates. You looking for the uh, the ASS dub? I got you. I got you. I got you. We can make that happen. All right. So we're gonna have to keep a what was it? A close eye on Cascade Falls. That's where the first action was last game, and we also had a couple teams that landed on each other down here at Ship Fall. So actually, that'll be the first one that we run into. We'll have to see if they land on each other. Or just near each other. Yeah, so it's E8 over here, and they're gonna take the they're gonna take the ship only part, and then we had Team Casual is taking the buildings up here. So that'll be pretty spicy here in a second. No other teams look like they're gonna land on each other. It does again look potentially like Cascade's gonna have the two teams. So we'll keep a close eye on the map. Uh, we do have two teams here. C9 back in action, and that is gonna be Bronzy down, trying to take over the middle. Stay Naughty with the really nice Volt shots, not taking much damage either. C9 look like they might just win this fight easily because now it's a 3v2. Yeah, now it's gonna be a 3v1, so C9 looking very, very good here. Gonna take out ESA at the very beginning, and it looks like Phony Head, last one up. Phony Head, we're on as a solo here as Caustic. What do you do here as Phony Head? I, I wonder if they're telling him to run or to just run and die. I don't know. So 1v3 here would be pretty tough, but uh, we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. All right, get one for the, get one for the media here. Phony Head does, does avoid the scan. Gonna pop the pre gas. Uh, we do have one person and shot through the ceiling. Insult to injury there. And that it was a third party already coming over here. But we're gonna go back over to the C9 fight because that's where we were on. Yeah, it, it is look Team like Nightmare. Getting... Team Nightmare is right near there, but Team Nightmare probably. Yeah, I don't they're think they're gonna fight up. that. Team Nightmare is gonna back up. I don't think they want to fight C9 here now that they realize that C9 is fully up. We do still um, have the two teams at Shipfall. We do. Also, they lost Golden E8, ended up winning this fight last time. Remember, it was thirded then by TSM. But with that knock, Team Casuals want to be aggressive. They're moving up. They're moving in. All right. Okay, they get their thirst. we see a 2v3 here? E8 going to stick around and try to get her done. Presley would love to see a knock here with the triple take. They have the top and they have the little cheeky angles to the rafters. What are we going to do here? Team Casuals is going to try to uh, camp this banner. You cannot hide. Not with the Seer. As we are getting a double Seer ult down as they try to make a final push right here in this 50-50 fight. I bet TSM is going to be there mighty soon. Ooh, that grenade. Well placed grenade. But they're going to both take damage to that a little bit. Try to go over and get some height and find where the last player is on the team. Doesn't want to drop yet, though. Pretty low. Connecting that shot, but getting knocked on the second one. But that is TSM an easy cleanup for casuals. They're not pulling up here. They are not. Nope, they've already rotated the other way. They did already rotate the other way. Team casuals. Okay, this is deja vu, Andrew. Remember World's Edge? We had two teams land on top of each other. A yeah. countdown, and they split. You know, one team won the first game, another team won the second one. Same thing here. 
As you know, we did CE8 win the first 50-50. Now we have Team Casuals winning that 50-50. We're back over here to a fight. We have um, Team Ass. They are separated. Jin, has been, Jin is being chased by Optic, and we have Aberlelli here being trying to fight Team NRG. So this is looking very, very bad for Team Ass. Uh, Slurpee is the last one up over here. So it's Slurpee versus NRG, and it's Jin versus the entire team of Optic. So they are trying to 1v3 two different teams right now. Gent has about 15 health and is just trying to quickly get away as quick as as, as fast as he can. Um, Optic incredibly split though. Optic's Skittle's gonna take a look at this. No, he's going back to his team. I was gonna say that is scary how split they are. Yeah. Look at how look at everyone. They're, it's like roaches. Yeah. So we got a couple fights in here and it's getting pretty messy. NRG is still pretty tight, and they're looking to fight Complexity now. Complexity gonna roll up. And let's see what the heck's going on here, man. Complexity, we're going into comms. Okay, let's listen in. Uh, we don't want to fuck with this. All right. We're just going to end up getting shot in the back and then lose our shit. So The car wrapping them, too. Little job. They probably might not even come up uh, back to the spot for a bit. They got north field. Yeah, they got EMP. They went down into the choke, so whatever. Yeah. We're disengaging. Don't listen yep. in on us. <laughs> Shiny? <laughs> team on the builds now, team on the other builds. Okay. We're just taking this. We can Newcastle with this too. Yeah. Um, it'd probably be like toward that door and that door right here, because I don't think anybody can peek from this side. Okay. Like a... Uh... Yeah. It just it might be like right here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or, yep. or even like... Yeah. Because nobody's going to peek us from that uh, angle. They're just going to peek yeah, us from blue. this one. I'm going to get as many of our little walls up. There we go. That. There's a team on our bottom, southwest build. Team on our bottom, southwest uh, build. All right, we're gonna pull out of that com. I don't think anyone's gonna fight here. They're actually setting up for end game. Yeah. So all these teams are just gonna ha hang out. Uh, we're gonna look at some edge fights here. These are the fights that actually might happen. Ooh, Furia ooh, over ooh, here, Furia. hard. Furia and versus it Sentinels. Looks like Sarah immediately getting hurt. We're gonna have his Watson trying to push over and get angles. Very nice shots out of the car, and they're going to get down Crust and Senox immediately, so it's going to be very Just Lou, just Lou as he tries to do some work here, but it is not going to be enough. Sentinels do get eliminated. Sentinels get eliminated there. Furio NRG. winning that fight. NRG on edge over here, about to run into Optic, and this does look like it's going to happen as well. Optic looking for a fight. We have Nathan going to get some height and some angles. Gonna I'd like to show beam, both though. sides of this fight if we can. I'm going to watch Optic Gaming. And Andrew's watching NRG's side, so you can see both sides of this fight as they try to make some moves. Guild getting some shots in here. We're going to switch over to Sweet on my end. Okay, Dupes holding the back angle here. He knew one of the players was going to climb up. I'm not sure who the Ryzen is on your team, but they are low. Yeah, they are at 10 health. That's Nathan. So, uh, NRG top left screen. Oh, someone has a cheeky angle. Oh, sweet. And height. It. Drop it on dupe. Dupe's out. Oh, no. Illegal movement. And Optic Gaming will be eliminated by NRG right there as they just yeah. showed some superior gun skill in that fight. Really good reset. I thought that Optic had the edge in that fight. All right. I'm on G2 here, and we're going to go into comms for them. Newcastle, Newcastle. He's gonna res the, he's gonna res the Watson. I'm gonna cancel I'm gonna it. Bat, I'm gonna bat. Maybe another team, another team, another team. Another team. I'm gonna bat. Are we going at this or what? Are we going at this? Be the duo. He left, he left, he left, he left. I think it's the duo bonus. I think it's the duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last kid, last kid of first team. Last kid of first team. Dead. Nice, nice. Good shit. Newcastle left. All right, G2 getting nice. four kills there. Sounds Everyone, like they were fighting go for a bit of Newcastle two teams. Newcastle just holding us by himself. Go for beacon now. Go for beacon now. Yeah, man, man, I'm gonna man. come watch with fingers. What? I have one bat left. I'm you taking us out of those? Yeah, you're on you. Okay. Um, we do have Fury and NRG at the top side of the map still, possibly. Mid range. Let's go. Nope, they're not gonna fight. I thought they were gonna fight. That is a that is a fight we would want to watch, guys. Team um, Luminosity, landing out in fish farms, taking their time with the rotate. Not really running into anyone. 
Alright, 14 squads up and the zone is pulling hard to checkpoint. So this is a pretty interesting zone. There's a lot of playable area at checkpoint. So this could be one of those where we, you know, have 10 plus teams going into the final circles. Yeah. This is just mm. where the teams that are running that more defensive comp are really going to shine. You know, some like complexities team. They have the Newcastle walls. That is going to be strong something? for them. Yep, you can. Um, we have a, a little sneaky uh, situation here. Let's um, get into comms here. I want to hear what they have to say. I'm going to go right side. Oh, Valkyrie. That was on, on my right. It's here. It's, it's, a, right it's here. a dude. Yeah, it's a trio. Trio. Are you trying to kill this? I, I can't see. I don't have an LOS. I'm. They like walked up. They know. They know. They know. They know. Yeah. Right here. I'm the we have the Valkyrie. We have the Valkyrie. There's two teams in this area. Can we go up the hill actually? Is anybody up the hill? Is I don't it know. safe? I don't, I don't I see so. anything up there. Seems walking up the left side right now. They're walking up the left side of the hill. I'm, here. 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 I'm going up the hill because that's, the loot is not really important right now. Purples. I'm not sure what other team ha they the think is here. I'm right behind you. But it was just G2. But they're gonna fight right here. They're here, they're walking up. On the left, hard, close left. I do not scan, I'm not scans. I'm on the far right, far right! Close right here. I'm one shot, one shot. I the bad here. I'm just out of this. I don't have any angles on anybody. I'm up a There's mech. One, I'm swinging to house, house right. side. I'm dead, I think. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 As soon, yeah, take us out. Take us out of this comms. Let them figure it out. As soon as soon as Hal does get knocked right there, um, he just knew. And his SSG. team knew too. SSG right. pulling up. SSG is pulling up and they have a Bloodhound ult. This is going to be really bad for G2. Can they hold? I don't Ooh. know if there's any way. There's so many grenades coming in. There's a Bangalore ult. There is everything. I think they just die here. I don't know. Frex is down really low really health right shots. now. Really good shots. Chaotic going to get some angles from the backside. Has to land huge damage here. Frex and be... Zen both incredibly low. Chaotic going to try to hit a full heal while G2 design pull also doesn't get a full heal in. This is, uh, this Bangalore is actually pretty helpful. Unless the other team has Digis. Holy. Really nice use. Chaotic, go off. Go off, Chaotic. Can't even see where the last one is trying to hit with that missile swarm there. And he did end up sliding down the hill a bit. Oh my goodness, Zen shots were so satisfying as Team SSG win that fight there, taking Ooh. out Team G2. And, and it looks like to, they get to chill. They get to chill. Um, I don't know if you remember, but Furial. earlier earlier that game, guys, uh, Nightmare was fighting on that hill. And I think that the Furial poor Newcastle for was not able to grab any banners, but still hanging Pitt out Watson there. Watson with a very nice arc star here. Gonna try to push in here. They're fighting in the end zone area, looking for a spot. This is a gimme fight. Ooh, big win there. Gonna back out. Really good challenge there. Car versus uh, PK Gibby. That's a really hard fight to actually win. His Watson doing really good there. I think they're gonna be able to get this res off. Um, it, yes, they will. They will. NRG is on top of there. Are focused on a solo. So I'm all not right. sure. Maybe he shouldn't have shot that shot. I don't know. Okay, so NRG, yeah. all three alive up on height there. Team Furia, all three alive in the spider cave. They got a bit of a reset and they are healing up now. Plenty of loot right in front of them, though. Um, looks like Team Luminosity are definitely being gatekept. They're 100% being gatekept, and this dude, Andrew, they're gonna, I, how are they gonna get in? Look at that, look at that. Valkyrie. All right, let's see. You think they the let them take it off? all your fears. All right, here you go. Valk solves everything. 
If you have any issues, call 1-800-VALKYRIE to get a free <laughs> pass to always be safe. 1-800-VALKYRIE. Although, wait. Valk nerf kind of screwing them over wait, a little wait, wait, bit. Wait, what about that Valk nerf? What about that Valk nerf? What right, about that Valk nerf? They cannot right, make we it. Go. And we're fighting. And we're fighting. The zone is closing. The grenades are out. That is one great example of nerfs and how nerfs actually help the game. Yanya's ult almost hitting his teammate there, but getting some damage on and these going. grenades. He's going in. Going in. We need an arc stick. We need big shots here. Nice! One, six, Zero. One, seven, eight. What was that? <laughs> Holy! I think he just went. Go, 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 stay safe. No <gasps> way. He's going crazy. He's going crazy. Oh my gosh. LG <gasps> win that fight despite going into He's zone. Going They're going to be dead here because there's a team on their backside. But oh my goodness, the damage that he is putting out before going down. Yo, hey, that was... LG, Luminosity Gaming, GG. What a crazy fake out with dub. the ult. I wish I could have heard the comms on what they were thinking with that. Like, did they think they were going to get over the mountain with that ult? Or did, was it the plan all along to do a fake ult? No, they, they was it was a last ditch effort. Holy no, I don't dude. know. I do not know, but... Renegades playing exceptionally well. Like I said, coming off a of second place in a tournament yesterday, um, playing well also tonight. Let me take a quick look and see if we have the scores. We can see where they are at the moment. Um, Renegades, where are they? Oh, not uh, as well tonight. RNG, though, yeah, 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 fourth, fourth, and, fourth on the bottom. Okay, not as well tonight. They have had a couple of good placements, though. Just not getting, I guess, the kills that they were looking for. All right, here we go. Let's take a quick look at the map and see what's going on here. We have Fury on the outer edge here. It is the full trio. We have Energy as a trio as well, and they are... Sweet is down. What is happening? Oh, that no. is co-mingle. Co-mingle, dude. It's in-game. It was Rambo. Rambo with the scout. Now is Team Turtles going to push on this? No! RKN, what are we doing? Oh, my goodness. Just a bit of a disconnect right here with these. Oh, oh. What okay. Dies? NRG do get eliminated there. They did. Area coming in to clean up. Okay. Oh, that Seer attack almost canceled that res. Hewn's just gonna dip. Oh, got just, him. He's just gotta dip. You gotta got full, him. full leave. Oh, oh. He is just not safe. Team Free Agent Turtles are eliminated. All right, so what do we have? Back to this map. Looks like RNG is going to land right behind Furia. This is a bold move with the zone closing. Uh, what's what? I don't understand. I don't know. I think um, I think complexity might be a good team to listen in on. I know we have comms on them. Team SSG also hey, full give me, alive. Give me, with one second, red give me one second. Give me one second. RNG landing right behind Furia, and the zone's closing. They're they're like literally going to die here. Um, they have to, they have to all push they one side. They have to side. jump off. No, nah, they got, I think they're just going to drop to Loot low ground. Loot is down to one. They're going to drop to low Dude, ground. that was super risky. And then it looks like another team is also going to join in the fray. Luda, Luda on one health. Furia wants to hold height here. They don't want to drop down, even though they could probably get an extra kill or two. My goodness, man. So Furia on height. All three are still up. We have all of SSG still up. Complexity is kind of avoiding getting shot at by most teams. Complexity also the only other team that's up on height here at checkpoint. All right, so we have uh, RNG and Furia commingling <clears throat> on the side here. SSG on the bottom. Complexity in a really good spot. We've seen Complexity just vibing around here the entire game, so. I know, that's what I'm saying. We have comms on Complexity, too. This could be a good cleanup for them. Yeah, yeah. Big names coming in. Madness looking for some big shots for his team. Trying to cover. It looks like really nice shots on the guy incoming. Last one Luda up. Dies. Trying to hit a bat Shot and team Renegades will be eliminated. More kill points for Furia. But SSG's coming in to try to now take advantage of a weakened Furia. As you can see, dropped rolling in here. Getting the Valk cracked. Probably going to run out of... Ju no, just barely got up there. Okay. Frexus was holding position. They only sent two people in on SSG to go clean that up, but maybe they should have sent the whole team. Ooh, maybe you should have sent the whole team. Frex popping dog. Frex go off. 
Rex going in. You love being a Bloodhound on the ult. Gonna go absolutely mental here. Gonna get a All good right, backing. All right, last two squads. It is SSG versus Complexity. Hitting the scan before reloading here. Getting amazing car shots. Oh. Not enough sense. The only one up here. Can he clutch it? Got the Newcastle down. He is so incredibly low. There's two people up. Being able to get hype, but this is not going to be enough with the two people up on Complexity. GG. I'll go here with Taking the game five. Let's hear the celebration. Platter, but I am not complaining. Hey, we'll take those. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking take it. No matter. We just plug the fucking spots. Oh, so rusty. Okay, we can hear the celebration out of complexity. Dude, that fucking Valk armor swapped on me three <laughs> times. I hit her for like 300 damage. I don't know how I survived when they all three swung me. <laughs> they were just fucking shambles, scared. All right, all right. They sound happy indeed. Complexity, GG, well done as they take the dub on game number five. We're already getting ready to start the last game. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it at all. I like Guys, the end game there. If you're just tuning in, this is the first weekly event of the Oversight Hyperlux Circuit. This is part of a $100,000 series over the next couple of months. Every single week, there's a $5,000 tournament on Thursday. There's going to be a qualifier on Monday. You can check the qualifiers out at our page, His and Hers Live. Um, I was going to say, how did we get to that page? <laughs> to I have no hit, idea. <laughs> to His and Hers Live. And we'll be streaming those from our stream. And then every Thursday, we're going to be live here on on the Hyperlux stream on the Thursday. All the events are going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern. 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, we're going to go oh. ahead and get the last game here. Last game started. Let's take a look at the scores before this game, just so you have an idea. This is not including game five. This is after game four scores. We will have game five scores up in just a second. But if you're wondering how can you possibly play in this event or how can you see new teams in it, Andrew, can you go ahead and give me that graphic on this page? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I want to show you how the format for this entire tournament series works because it's it's actually quite interesting. All right, here you guys go. Every Monday, there's going to be the qualifiers. Every Thursday, we're going to have the $5,000 weekly events. The top 10 from tonight will be invited to compete again next Thursday. The bottom 10 will be invited to play in the qualifiers on Monday. If they finish top 10 on Monday, guess what? They can come play again next week. 15, 11th through 15th place from the qualifier that we did on Monday will also be invited back. I don't know how good you guys are at math, but 10 plus 5, that's not 20. We have a couple of spots left. That means there's five open registration spots. If there's at least one player from the top 20 or two from the bottom 20 of ALGS, last chance qualifiers, we can see some new teams playing in these events. So there are five open registration spots. There's some information at the bottom of that graphic of how you or your team could possibly sign up. You do have to have one player from top 20 or at least two from the bottom 20 of the LCQ2. Let me see if I have scores. No scores yet. We will have them very soon. Very soon. All right. We're waiting on one person in the lobby, so... I wanted to say I like the for, for whatever reason that end game was pretty good as far as the teams were there were some good fights there were some good exchanges um, when the when the when the end zones like end out in the open of just a wide open desert mm -hmm. it doesn't feel very fun to me like at least there there were multiple levels there were lots of pillars and stuff to fight around and it it allows a team to at least like show some skill and um, I don't know that that end game was fun. Okay, I do have scores. I don't have them up the way that you like them, though. Is that okay? Yeah, no, I got it right here. I got it right okay, here. okay. Andrew's going to pull up the current scores for us. Got you. Um, so we're going to go back to this. We're going to look at that. These are the scores right before the game. Are they going to be changed at all? We will see. It does look like we have SSG still in the lead with 62 points. G2 with the 43 points. Keep in mind, G2 had 25 points after the first game, so not getting a whole lot of points, but at least at least cruising, you know, staying staying in the top three is pretty solid there. Uh, ESA in third, Complexity with a big game there, going all the way up to fourth. NRG rounding out top five. SSG with a mighty nice cushion, though. They must be feeling pretty good going into this last game. Let's see if they can just survive get decent placement i think we'll see a little bit safer gameplay out of them this last game i think they're really going to try to get 
their bodies into zone early on, but we shall see. We're going to get this last game started here in just a minute. We'll try to play ads in between the games, guys. Um, we got a lot of people behind the scenes at Hyperlux helping with this event. Thank you guys so very much. I'm excited to work together with you. We're going to be doing these events every Thursday. We also are going to be working on some stuff with scoring. So possibly we can do, I know some of you that have seen our events are used to seeing us do like damage stats, kill stats, percentages and whatnot. Um, one of the players in the lobby actually shout out to team casuals double O created an awesome software that Andrew and I use for all of our events. And we're not using it tonight, um, but m I know that there's some additional softwares being created. But moving forward, we will try to show some other stats for you guys. This is just week one. There's so much more to come. Exactly. All right, and Andrew's going to update that graphic here to show game six of six as we start the last game. Guys in chat, you know, you know Andrew and I are doing the production of this event as well as the casting so that means we have control over who you see please let us know who you want to see in chat we're going to definitely prioritize the teams that are in voice channel comps so we can listen in but you let us know which teams you want to see thank you scarlet i appreciate you thank you guys for the kind words three down and locked let's land over there All right, we've got a couple fights we're looking out for. This one here is a pretty interesting area. I know. The one outside of Mill and Cenote. Over there. OXG rotation, please. C9 comms, please. Let's get in there. Let's see what they have to say on the drop. Jump. No, one they have a so good jump. They have a good jump. One guy has an awful jump. The Sierra is a great jump. Yeah, they, they have oh, a I'm good jump. I'm in front of all three of them. Yes, I'm, you I'm are going to the, beat them. I'm landing on the front, the front thing. Okay? I'm going okay, to the, okay, to, to okay, the yeah, second hole. Second hole. I'll punch hole. with you. I'll punch with you. I'm in the second there. hole. They did not 50 50. A lot of guns. Let me get that bolt. Motherfucker. Okay, okay, I'm I got a car. Okay, fuck you. Fuck it. Yeah. Get ammo for it. They, they, I'm going to keep looting. You want to just uh -oh. let them? No? Keep looting. On me, I think. I don't know. I'm looking through windows. No, not on me. On the three bins. I think they're on the far side. Far building. Far building. One guy. Two. All three. All three. All three. Two far building. I need to loot my building. I'm going to loot this. There's like nothing I, in here really. I looted it. Guys, we need to take your energy before they mo leave. Okay, Come okay, on. okay, okay. Coming. Okay. I have dropped the fire right there, Nani. I'm good, I'm good. I have alternator bolt. I think all three. I think all three. Yep, on yeah, the yeah. thing. I queued it. I have a nade. I have one frag. I'm going to save it for the right door to break. They're running. They're trying to run. They're trying to no, run. No, 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 no. What one's in the building? Okay. Okay, I'm getting close. I threw a nade on the door. I broke the door. I broke that door. Push inside. Push inside. One's on height with me. Yes, one's on height. One's on height. I'm on height with you. Ain't no way that's. I have height control. I have height control. I'm on height. I'm on height as well. I don't know where they are. Look through these windows. I'm gonna have a big beam here, probably. They're inside. I got stuck, but I cracked him. I got stuck, but I cracked him. Wow. Where are they? They're inside. Kill them. I got this. I, 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 one, Seer one, Logan. One. No angle, Reloading. No angle. I'm Seer one. I'm outside. All right, watch for, watch for thirds. Looking for third. Looking for thirds. No, don't look for thirds. Just get the fuck in here. Fuck it. If they third oh, us, they'll fight us in the building. Don't shoot their bodies. Don't do anything to them. Why are you shooting their body? They're sweethearts. Huh. <laughs> All right, cool. So the really All good right. fight there out of C9 there. Getting Amazing the comms out of C9 too. I love it. They're sweethearts. Okay. Okay, C9. I see what you're doing. I see. I hear you guys. I love to see it. GG, C9 winning that fight. And unfortunately, we did lose Team ESA. Guys, ESA was one of the top teams. Ooh. One Ooh. of the top Ooh, wait, teams wait, tonight. Wait, 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 wait. Andrew, are you okay? E8. <laughs> Going in, casuals. They have a full surround. We got Presley over here. We've got a full surround on casuals. Nice shots with the wingman. They're getting the crack on the white shield. Wingman versus white shield, super balanced. Guys, guys, look at the map, though. Look at the map. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Holy. Andrew's making a lot of sounds. Andrew's making a lot of sounds. We're going back to him. Wait. Did you see the wingman shots out of this guy? Now screen cap and show us later if it was something amazing. He is I was going shocked. crazy, bro. E8 versus casuals, but oh, there Mercy might not be down. any winner of this fight because TSM is watching the kill feed, trying to see 
when they can make a push. They're looking for a knock on both sides before they want to show presence here. All right, E8's got to back up. Ooh. E8 was winning that fight. TSM Double. is here to spoil all the fun. Oh, hitting some insane shots there with the Elsar. I'll put you back on Andrew's screen. As we watch it. TSM, okay, I got it. So TSM with triple white shields on TSM as they roll up here. They're gonna get the thirst here, but that's not gonna really help them out much. They only got one kill. And I think there's only one person alive. No, yeah. No, I don't even think they got the knock on Mercy, so they're gonna try to thirst. TSM not allowing anybody to have fun on the south side. No. Just coming in to clean everything up. We There's do have... One person up. E8, um, Golden is still up, so he's going to just try to chill back there, see if he can maybe grab banners. Um, LG hasn't been really showing much presence. You can see we do have a team that's fighting some PvE on the map. Um, team Turtles. Team Turtles have been getting into a good building early on and then not really fighting too much after that. Um, it looks like C9 did end up doing the IMC, getting some good, good loots there. We might have S SG fight here before they pop in a tunnel. They are being watched on top of the Ferris wheel by 100 Thieves. Nope. Mm, they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're looking at SSG. SSG decided not to go through the tunnel. It can be very sketchy to rotate through a tunnel if you have a team on that other side there. And then Furia. A lot of you guys always want to see what's Furia doing. They land really far from everyone else on the map on the north side, so they're just taking their time rotating down south. What do you think? Where do you think our next fight's going to be? Right, I'm taking it. I got, um, I got a good look at the map here. It's a pretty central zone, which is interesting. All the teams queuing up. We have OXG going to hold. Probably just hold this. Yeah, they're just going to hold the hill here. This is actually a pretty good spot to hold. We've got all these teams queued up. They're not really going to want to fight. Seems like they would fight, but they, they, they can't really fight. There's too many teams around. Sin is looking for a fight over here against Furia, potentially. Let's uh, Sin versus Furia. Keep a close eye on that. We got Gen 2 craft. Uh, G2 was crafting. TSM's over here looting. NRG chilling, vibing. Yeah, Again, this guys, is our fight right here. This is the last game. This is the last game. SSG is in first place. They have a bit of a lead right now. Like I said, they're probably going to try to avoid any early fights as much as possible. If you're SSG and you have that cushion, you really want to get placement and just try to count on getting your points towards the end of the game. Because if any of the teams in second place, like G2, have a good game, they could potentially lose out. Game six of six, 18 squads up. We did lose casuals and ESA. E8's only down to one player. Mm. I LG. don't know what's gonna happen. They're taking their sweet time, landing out in fish farms. They, they're they usually one of the last teams to rotate into zone one. All right, they found a beacon. They found a beacon, they're gonna hit the beacon. So that's what LG's doing. Mm. There's really not much here. I, you know what I love watching is the decision making and the rotate. So Furia was down here and they're opting to go up and around just to try to find some people struggling to get into zone. Now I do see some shots happening here at Team Sentinels as they're looking at Team G2. G2 is one of the teams that could potentially win everything tonight. Guys, you can exclamation point standings in chat and see the current scores, but G2 is in second place with 43 points, and they're being chased by Sentinels right now. Uh, let's hear what's going through G2's head real quick. All right, I'm watching Sentinels' point of view, so put it in Please G2's if you want. Like right behind me. All right, turn on Ready the into building. Mana. Turn at the building. Turn at the building. I'm going to get out of here for the Stroud Drive. All right. I'm going to Stroud. We should we should not fight this. I know, but like yeah. if they're into us, we just we got it. 72 blue on the horizon. 72 on, on somebody else. I'm getting shot by Plano. We're in the top. Queuing her, queuing her. Fox one. Dead, 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 dead. dead. Ooh. Nice. I can't the other one. Big nade, big, big frag over there. On the horizon, I think. 90 on 
All right, we'll go for these kills. Chill. They got red armor. Red armor in that box. Okay, right, 3v2. They're going. Fuck them. Here they come. They're just holding in here. 45 on, on horizon. Kill these fuckers. I need help. Shoot that out. Shoot that out. Ooh. That's not good. It is now a 2v2. They just fucked. Fuck, dude. They just had so many nades on us. And there is a full team behind them as G2 Gim and Lit eliminated. And there's a team behind them too. It is Luminosity. Alright, we're gonna listen into TSM comms as they now have to fight LG. Oh, they they left Discord. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, we're not gonna listen to those comms. We're all no, we one will up. not listen. Okay, we're all last one up. There are so many teams, and guys, this is why. Do you notice that SSG, who are the last team here, opted to not rotate through this tunnel earlier? This is why. Sometimes you take a far rotate around because it's, it's just terrible to fight right here. Uh, awful, awful spot to fight. Dude, this I'm is the sixth at all the and seventh team in this one little area. SSG outside cleaning up some of the loot. Team LG inside as they open the door here and maybe want to take a couple of shots at each other. 15 squads up. Um, most everyone else is still on the west side of the map, so they will be the only two teams to fight, but I think they're both going to just go their separate ways. Keep an eye on that. I'm going to just look in and see what Team Liquid's up to. As it looks like they have someone called out. Yeah, that broke up. Okay. So they went separate ways, right? Yep. Okay. Alright, OXG. You guys said you wanted to watch OXG, but there it looks like the last shot right there on 100 Thieves. As you saw, Protect Fool's beautiful wingman shot to finish up that fight. OXG holding hill. Playing with a wraith on the team. One of the few wraiths in the lobby. Let's see, do they take the rampage? I know that if I'm in a game, I usually leave the rampage on the care pack. It's like they do the same too, so even the pros aren't touching that gun. Is that what I'm seeing? Out here. All right, they are safe for next zone. Um, they're going to have a couple teams on their backside. It looks like Renegades have a bit of a fight here. As you see Luda going in, taking their damage, and they are going to probably get the knock here, getting the crack on both sides there. As we see the Horizon go in on height, finish the shot with the PK. That was a great shot. Going to try to grab a quick shield bat, get the thirst, and maybe come back into the fight. Man is rocking the turbocharged havoc. Big damage there. Okay. A hundred damage out of Luda. Yeah, they got a big, big, big third party behind them. Big third party behind them. They're dead. Luda putting in some major damage, but yeah, Madness did get knocked back there. And there is already one player up on the roof, and this is probably gonna be the end of RNG is just too risky to fight. It's so risky to fight. SSG showing presence at the right time. This is looking like an SSG dub. They are making all of the right decisions tonight. Man, I mean, it's just like, when you see that happen, you're just like, man, I don't, I just don't want to fight. Like, how do you fight? All right, here we go. Team FAT over here. It's a duo. We're going to go into comms with them. We haven't heard them today yet and see if they can do this. Are they actively fighting? Oh, yeah. Okay, because I have another fight too. Mm, this team might not push. This team might okay, push. Okay, take me out. Wait, 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 take wait, us wait, out of those comps. Out of there. They're, hold up, they're pushing. 
Uh, I'm back really quickly. I'm on Fury of Fight. Is there quickly going in here? I'm gonna take you back to Andrew's side because we're still in the comms here. Guys, I'll screen cap and show you this other fight. All right, I'm done. On you. Okay, okay. We're going back to my Furia fight as they figure that out. But Furia was having a ferocious fight over here. Just so you didn't miss any of it, I will show you. I'll screen cap. If you want to watch the last minute and a half, I'll show it at the end of this broadcast. Team Nightmare also getting eliminated right there. They're going to drop the respawn beacon and try to get him down, but I don't know if Optic's going to let them do this. Optic Gaming needs to kind of head towards SSG them. SSG South, big trouble, big trouble. Oh no, okay. On you. Okay, I'm watching SSG as they're rotating around. Dropped is down to one, dropped is down. Frex is, is the last one up as he tries to rotate in. They do not want eighth place. They do not want an eighth place game and they are gonna be eliminated in eighth place right there. SSG, the team in first place, eliminated. Now they did have a couple of kills, so we'll see. We'll see if it's enough for them to hang on to the dub, but you can do exclamation point standings if you want to see the scores on your end. Um, again, Team Furia guys, they were able to get that res off, so they're looting up. They have all the loot up there. Now they do need to move in. Uh, C9's getting spicy over here, man. Yeah, I'm watching complexity right now. Some great wingman shots out of Shiny. As he is- Man, he's frying. <laughs> he really is cracking those shields. I think that's C9 that he's shooting at. Yeah, C9 complexity. Both teams have to move. Both teams do have to move. Let's go here. Do you want to hear either of these teams? That is up to you. Oh man, I think complexity it's hard to has tell. To move. All the yeah, complexity uh, yeah. has a sliver they're building that's good, right? No. That's a Loba ult. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go, uh, we'll go here, Complexity. I wanna hear what the heck are they gonna do, yeah. man? We should, we should get ready to Valkul. Yeah. Okay. You guys ready? I'm no, ready. Yeah, no. I'm ready. They're ulting. I'm breaking off instantly, so yeah. I don't get fried. Top left right there, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I'm that's dead. all good. Uh, oh my all good. All good. Uh, gosh, look uh, at that. Uh, we got fucked hard. Oh my God. Oh. Holy shit. Well. Dude. One's uh, lower floor coming up to you now. Only Seer. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> we got seven. Oh, the wall. The up. wall kind of went the opposite way, I but they're going to try. Let's see if they can get the ult off. Let's see if they can get the ult off. C9's trying to do what they just did. If we can, then we land over here and we wrap. Okay, we're listening yeah, in to C9. Go red, go red, go red. I'm going, I'm going red, going red. And then we have to fight this team on edge to our right, right away, close right. Okay. Close right, close right, arm rocker, rocker. Yeah, rocker, coming, coming. Three. Up, going up. With your rocker. I'm low. I'm not so low. I actually got into trouble. Skittles with the beam. Wait, I'm going for it, I'm going for it, I'm going for it. You can play my knock, play my knock. Play my knock, come here. Big name, man! Kill two! We need to kill these guys, not eight. I'm, I'm just going need forward. To use your health bar. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 come down, come down. Oh, oh, they did. Oh. They sure did. All right. Oh, That's not that bad. They just won the three. Okay, okay. GG C9 on a sketchy rotate. Getting a couple kills there. You could hear from the comms that incredibly positive comms out of C9, though. You love to hear it. I feel like they sound good. They sound really good. They sound positive. Um, They played well. They played incredibly well. All right, we are watching Luminosity right now as they have probably the worst rotate for this next zone. They have to go down in the open and up. They have a couple of teams that are going to be holding them out. All right, let's take a quick look at the map here and see what we're gonna do. LG has to move in. The zone is pulling all the way up here to Team Liquid. Team Liquid's in a really good spot, and they are basically gonna have to hold off all three teams. OXG's in a one-third position. Fury is looking at them. LG is looking at them. So 
Team Liquid's gonna try to hold these teams off and hope that they fight each other on the way in and don't. Oh, here we go. They're getting courted on, so this is very bad. This is not what they want. They do not want to hold this rock with another team on the backside. All right, and here we go. Just like that, they're getting inted on. This is definitely worst case scenario for them. Okay, good. They held it off. Huge for them to hold it off. Now this team's gonna have to rotate down into LG. This is really big. They're gonna get pushed by Furia, unfortunately. No, OSG fighting big. for their lives right now as they do get eliminated in fourth spot. Three teams left, Luminosity, Team Liquid, and Team Furia. I'm gonna watch from Furia's point of view right now as they try to fight both of these last teams. Anders losing his shield, using the terrain for cover, hitting the bat. Gonna completely full heal here. This is a 3v3v3. Team Liquid versus Luminosity versus Furia. Yeah, is a, Furia's looking for some big points. I was going to say, which team can hold out the longest? Two teams into each other. It just kind of makes it an easy cleanup for the third. Well, let's take a look at, um, at Team Liquid here. Team Liquid has a wall that's right at the end zone. So they're they're looking like they have a really good spot. Look at this wall. It goes all the way up to like five feet before the very end zone. So it looks like Furia is going to fight LG on the edge. I think they have to. I think Furia has to pull left and fight LG on the side here. And then I think Team Liquid is just going to come steamroll that. So let's just see what Furia does. Pander's looking for this angle that I'm talking about. Furia looking for the angle. Does get a little damage. And I don't think they want to fight Team Liquid. I think they're going to try to fight LG. Look at them. You can see them all jockeying for the height here. I don't know if we have bang bombs in play or if that's even a possibility. No, we're at 82%. So I do not know if we're going to have them in time. Probably not. Just trying to stall these fights for as long as possible. Smoke down. Big attack. They're getting all three. The nades are all going to come out. Thermite does tick. Thermite, nice. Thermite, huge. Look at how Really look how low big the damage. Is. Probably going to go down. Amigo did get knocked right there. Team Liquid, like I said, is just going to be able to probably. No, Furia's still fully up and healthy. They really are. Only one player left up alive on Team Liquid. Yanya is trying go. to walk it up. Now, Furia directing all their attention over towards Team Liquid. Huge grenades. And Furia looks like they're in a good position now after all that damage done by the Horizon. Panda's gonna have to back out. His Yanya all swinging backs. wide. It's a final effort, final push here. Yo. Yanya all right. does screw Furia there. Putting a lot of damage. This is looking really good for Team Liquid as they come and take out all of Furia and Team Liquid win the last game on wow. Storm Point. Yanya really, really did on Team Liquid go in there there and, and do some damage to Liquid. They did. They did Furia indeed. Was all, they were all three hitting a battery. If they get those batteries off, it's a fair 3v3 against Team Liquid. Uh, Yanya came in and said, no, you do not get to do the battery. And uh, so, yeah, like Team Liquid just gets the dub. Thanks I'm to Yanya. I'm going to be honest. I have never seen that Valk um, emote right there. I have not seen that one. I don't know if you saw that before. I don't know if that's new or if I just do not play Valk, but I've never seen that celebration emote. Well, GG's all around. G Much love G from all the competitors. GG indeed. Again, let me show you some quick match summaries of that final game here. Team Liquid getting three kills, but first place. First place there. Furia, lots of kills. We're used to seeing a lot of kills near Team Furia in second place. They needed that. They weren't um, as high on the scoreboard as they really wanted. They were looking to secure a top 10 finish so they could play again on Thursday. Top 10 teams from today, as you guys know, will be invited to compete again on Thursday. The bottom 10 teams today have to compete on Monday in the qualifier. You can watch the qualifier on our stream, His and Hers Live. We're going to be streaming the qualifiers on Monday at 7 p.m. We're going to get some um, scores up to you guys in just a second, but I do want to say thank you. This was the first time Andrew and I have ever tried to do a stream from anywhere other than our own stream. Um, do you want to take a second and just say hello? Hi, we're his and hers live. We're chilling in our house. This is, again, we're broadcasting out of our house here. 
I am really happy. I feel like everything went kind of smooth. I know we'll work out some stuff. We're getting more data for scores. But guys, please give us your feedback. We want to make this event something that you look forward to watching every Monday and every Thursday. I'm pretty easy to reach. Please tweet about it. Let me know what you want to see differently, um, what we can do different. We are open to suggestions and advice. We want this tournament to become part of your weekly routine. Let me know what you want to see. Um, and we will try our very best to show it to you. We can completely change our production if we have to, but like I said, let us know. Can we watch the Energy versus Furia fight? You know what? I got that for you. I screen capped it for you. Yes, you can. Show me. Show me the fight. Yes, yes, yes. Working on final scores, guys. Yeah. Um, it's going to be pretty close. SSG was in first, but they had uh, quite the hard rotate. So Show it in full screen when you have the scores up, please. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking at the scorage. Not quite, not quite. Okay. I'm going to show you again here then. Um, I believe we do have this screen here. I can show you. We had a bit of a, a fight. I think I was going to show you some Furia fights. I promised you I would. We were listening in on comms with another fight. I don't know if I have audio for this one, so apologies if the audio is a bit wonky. But this is, um, this is what Furia was doing during a fight earlier on. As you can see... They were trying to get the res on their end, too. They were able to get the revive up. The recovery. Oh, lots of resing inside the building, too. Grabbing the banner. Grabbing height here. And a bit of the cleanup. Amazing, good, aggressive shots right there. Just out of bullets. Just out of bullets, unfortunately. But the rest of the team was there to clean it up. And look at this kill feed. So, again, we try to show you every fight as much as we can, but there was just so much going on at once. And you guys ready for the final scores? All right. So, here were the scores going into the game. Skip the replay. Bring the, bring the dog back. Here were the scores going into the game, and after the final game, this is what the scores are looking like. So it does look like SSG retains first place. Okay, congratulations, SSG, with 72 points. The scores going into game five were really close. They took a big lead at those last couple of games. SSG, love to see them dominating the leaderboard. A very strong team. They've been playing together for a long time. And I have not seen them up top in a minute, so I'm happy to see that. Team Luminosity Gaming taking second place. Liquid with third. C9 with fourth. G2 with fifth. Yeah, G2 off to a really, really big start in game one with like 25 points just in game one. Um, they would have probably liked to get a, a little higher there considering their first game was so big. Mm -hmm. But good to see them in the top five as well. Yeah, guys, and do not worry. Teams 11 through 20 are going to be competing again on Monday. So if your favorite team was there from 100 Thieves to Optic to OXG to Sentinels to Renegades, E8, TSM, Nightmare, Ass, and Casuals, come back to our stream on Monday. We are going to be hosting a qualifier for them. Thank you again so very much to Hyperlux. We're going to wrap this up here. Thank you very, very much, Hyperlux, for sponsoring this event, um, for allowing Andrew and I to be a part of this event. Thank you, everyone, for all the follows. If you haven't already, I don't know if we can because we're not live, but we're going to go yeah. ahead and, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go a lot. We're going to end the broadcast here. We're going to continue our broadcast over on our end, but I hope you guys all had a wonderful evening. Please make sure you drop a follow here if you have not already because we're going to do this again on Thursday. Monday, qualifiers from our stream. Thursday, we're going to be right back here. And again, please, um, through Twitter is a really good way for you to... Um, actually, I don't know. Guys, Andrew, I would ask them. Are we... Did you want us to host someone? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. do you want I'll us to end the broadcast? Yeah. You guys let us know. But well, we're going to end the stream here. We're going to go live on our end. So you guys let us know if you want us to host someone. Or just end it. Again, this is our first time doing it from, from this other channel, but thank you so very much. Twitter is the best way to reach me. If you guys have suggestions or ideas of how we can improve this broadcast, please do let us know. I want to hear your feedback. I don't have chat, do you? I have chat, but I'm not sure if they said anything about hosting or whatnot. Check. Let's check. Do we uh, do we host up a 
competitor. Go ahead and cut event. it. Go ahead and cut it. I bet. All right. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. We're about, we're going to, if you want to watch more of us, we're going to go live in a second. We're not hosting ourselves though. We're not doing that, but feel free to come over and say hi from his and hers live and get a dog cam. 